Folks, people, wow, 120 of you. Wow, that is that a has got to be a record. All right, here we go. Is everyone ready? Are we ready for this moment? Woo! All right, so uh, this week we will be playing Teddy Bearing, which is our version of Trouble Brewing with the pixie in it. <laughs> uh, the pixie <laughs> is a townsfolk whose ability reads, you start knowing one in-play townsfolk. If you were mad that you were this character, you gain their ability when they die. Uh, we love this townsfolk, particularly because, unlike all of the other examples of madness in, in Blood on the Clock Tower, this is an example of where being mad about something can gain you something. You can, you can acquire something or achieve something by choosing to be mad, which is great. And I think it's a great... Um, a lot of the time when we explain madness, we have to kind of give the spiel of you don't have to interact with madness you don't have to do this you don't have to do that and this ri this character makes it so much easier to show just how madness is a really diverse mechanic uh, mm. and i think it's going to be a lot of fun seeing how people handle uh, this character yeah i also think uh, one of the really fun things about pixie is that uh double bluffs uh double double claims rather situations where two people are claiming the same thing are now no longer the purview of minions only this did could be a pixie and do you really want to push it that hard when a pixie is so useful i mean i i absolutely love it <laughs> exactly um is everyone that is currently in town square who is playing in this game ed uh i think we've gained an ev hang on let me just check this uh We've lost a fluff, Obviously, right? you're not playing. Yeah, we've lost a fluff. I'm happy to play if you've got an Amy loitering on your shoulder. Okay. I'm um, happy to loiter. Both of us. Amy, you've, cool. just, like, you've um, just got out of bed, yeah? Because uh, I'm exhausted, so I'm just literally going to lean on you for the next two hours. Is that I, I, have been, I, have been, I have been up for an hour. I have been watching the stream. I am a lot more awake than I usually am on Friday. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, we've also lost Tom uh, and Nikki, ben. right? Uh, Nikki is still there. He's okay. yeah. Nikki's still there. Let me let me change my name to Grimian. Cool. So we've got thirteen, yeah. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, yeah, nine, thirteen. 30, uh, Twelve, me thirteen, yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Oh, uh, uh, I will get out the way. All right, bye. So for yeah. the people people asking about the uh, the oh. symbol and the name. Uh, the pixie is based off uh, the concept of changelings, uh, the uh, the myth and folklore about a child that was replaced by a you know fey folk in the middle of the night. So the idea is that the pixie is one of those. But uh, Steve wouldn't let me call it the changeling because it was too similar to another character name. So we went for a very similar fairy, and uh, and the teddy bear is quote unquote cute. <laughs> you okay yet? <laughs> Yep, I was just going to mention, I have created the pull request for it to go onto the Brain tool. Um, it won't go on until Brain is available to import that, so you will not be able to use the tool um, with the Pixie in as a default yet. Um, but for it, everyone is who just, it, it has just that. been but released. It will be in the next 24 hours. It's on the, pu it's on the public scripts tool, though, guys, so go make your Pixie scripts, because, of course, the competition this week is to craft us an interesting and entertaining full-size script that has the Pixie on it. Uh, bonus points if you if you do not need to fall back on using uh, Stormcatcher, uh, and also bo bonus points if you create a script where the pixie has scope for interesting plays, but it doesn't need to be in there to be interesting. Because of course, one of the most entertaining things about having a character in a game is that they cannot be in the game and can be used as a potential bluff. So do keep that in mind. Get creating your scripts, and we'll drop you a link to the uh, to the unofficial server right now. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of the unofficial, the other thing that I've just dumped on there is um, my explanation of how the pixie works, because I'm trying to preempt all the questions you're going to ask me. Um, so they should all be in there. Um, have fun. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the pixie does specifically learn the townsfolk. Uh, yeah. Although it be because it'd be very very rough for them to be a judge or something like that. Here's the thing, though, right? Is it possible that the spy could register as a particular townsfolk to the pixie, a townsfolk that is not in play, but is registered as being in play because the spy is in play, and then the pixie can actually become a townsfolk that isn't in play? Yeah, I would let that happen on the execution of the spy. <laughs> I 
that. Well, maybe we'll think about that. But we'll, I don't think we'll do that right now. Uh, let's do something a bit less insane for our first uh, yeah. try through. Okay, 13 players. I will say, I will say, one of my favorite things to do with the pixie, make him drunk, give him one of the Imps bluffs. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't do that for our first game. I just, I just. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of up for it. <laughs> Well, I mean, the players are going to be expecting a pixie. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for a spy today, so if it's all right with you, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the spy out, and we're gonna I'm have very a, okay we're gonna that. have a recluse and a saint uh, for the Baron outsiders. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll pop the pixie in there. Let's make let's make the pixie. Let's have pixie and investigator as our two you start knowing characters. And if the play, the problem with, uh, with with Pixie versus Investigator, um, the the potential player workflow is that the Investigator will realize they have a Pixie, get executed, and then the Pixie learns a second minion. Well, that does put the evil team on the back foot pretty quickly I'm, if I'm, they choose to go that aggressive. I'm not suggesting that the Pixie knows the Investigator. I'm saying as our two, you start knowing characters. We'll, oh we'll go with yes, in that case, continue. Yeah, um, and then Fortune Teller, Undertaker, Raven Keeper, Slayer, Mayor. You happy with that? I like it. Yeah, that's right. really nice. Shuffle. Oh no, I hit no. Shuffle was not the button I wanted. What have I done? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry. I'm I'm lagging behind in the stream, so I, I could see you going, but there it was too go. late. It had already there happened. We there we go. It's signed randomly. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, nice. All right. What have we got? Oh, we should have oh it's evil. <laughs> <laughs> the battle. What the... demon bluffs do you want to throw out? Uh. Oh, Dicky's the pixie. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna shit a brick when he learns that. Um, let's go, let's go with um, let's go with Virgin Empath and we go Librarian. No, that's that's a rough one. Washerwoman. Washerwoman's a great one. <clears throat> yeah, it certainly is. Uh, let's let's show. Okay. Oh, uh... we don't have a chef, right? We don't have a chef. We okay, don't have a path. Because I was just looking at that poison and infra clues combo yeah, and being like, "That's that would have been sick." Um, but let's let's mm -hmm. honor it. Let's go. Let's let's tell Cat that either Hazel or where are we going to that either Hazel or Patrick is the Scarlet Woman because that's you know a horrible thing to do. So we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secretly I hoping they double claim Saint between the oh. two of them, because that would be beautiful. Uh, Deviant has joined the game if you can sneak in an extra player. <clears throat> 14 people? Alright, fine. Um, we can ha we can make him a butler. Yeah, that's what he gets for showing up late. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, no, we're making him a drunk. Hey! <laughs> we're making him a drunk... Oh, do you know what? We're gonna make him a drunk. Make virgin. him a drunk chef. Make oh, him a make him chef? a drunk yeah, chef. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Beautiful. Drank chef. Okay. Drank. And so, why don't we give the evil team? Of course, of course, he's now virgin, interfered with that. Give them butler yeah? as a bluff. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, this is gonna be utterly massive. Uh, we're going to have to keep a pace on here, I think. So, what other setup do we need to do? Fortune Teller. Let's make the Fortune Teller... Oh, let's, do you know what? Deviant is the red herring. I'm the drunk. Um, and, <laughs> oh, we could make. We could tell Nikki that the good character he knows about is the drunk. <laughs> I'm not oh, that'd be me. Oh, no, yeah. it's a townsfolk. It has to be a townsfolk. Oh, yeah, it does have to be a townsfolk. Just stop, stop people like you from doing things like that. <laughs> uh. You mean top... Sound guys from doing amazing things. I agree. Uh, oh, why don't we? Why don't we do? I, th I feel I'm feeling Slayer. You know, I I've heard a lot of suggestions for Slayer. I'm pretty hyped for it. Yeah, we could I'm run a poll, but um, there, there's a lot of people. I did a prediction for the Good Evil win. Uh, someone came away with 48k points. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so rather than a poll, chat. Tell us what you want and tell us why it isn't the Slayer. All right, all right, all right, all right. New poll. Pixie sees. Oh, you're actually doing a poll. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a poll. Mayor, uh, Slayer, Mayor. Who else? Undertaker's in there. Undertaker, Raven Ra Ravenkeeper, Fortune Teller. Uh, uh, that, that, that's pretty much all the ones I've got, but I think those are the ones that are going to be most interesting for this game. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. 
All right, I'm allowing channel votes. You got a minute. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Vote for the... P okay, let's see. Oh, Mayor's got one vote. Oh, wow, this is a much better way of voting than... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> than than just, than just, uh... I'm going to vote for Slayer. Uh, if the pixie gets poisoned, we are going to have a really fun time, but it's it's always good to have this planned out in your head before the game starts. Or oh, Slayer is running away with it, but Undertaker's real close as well. No love for the fortune teller. That's okay. So, I'll be honest, I've actually never seen the pixie used in, in any of the playtesting I've done. So how... Does the pix, pixie have to be consistently oh. mad? Uh, the pixie... I, the way that I run pixie, and, and I run madness probably a little more aggressively than other storytellers, is I want that pixie to be acting as that character the entire time. Like, consistently. Um... But also, like, uh, Steve has told, Steve has sort of said that if a pixie is made mad that they're a washwoman and they have a very strong day one washwoman claim and then they don't say anything for a couple of days, you can still probably judge as mad enough. Slayer is one with 38% of the vote. Um, Knife and Ninja contributed 4,700 channel points. Oh, thank you. I All think right. he was going for something else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, look, you, 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 you guys win one little prediction. You start throwing points everywhere. Um, yeah, so I would say I would say it really just um, madness always comes down to intent. If you believe that that pixie is trying to sell people on the fact that they are that character and they're not trying to sell people on the fact that they're a pixie or something else, we're good. If if, if they come out that they're the pixie, that's very that's the very definition of broken madness. A pixie that is revealed they are the pixie to me is no longer mad. Yeah. So that's I a pretty agree. good line to draw in the sand. And you you, um, you, don't, you 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 can't just go you can't just find Jack in a private chat and be like, "Yo, I'm I'm the pixie and I've seen Demon and I've seen Slayer." Yeah. I mean like he like, if they can if they can sneak around and do that behind our backs then yes, but um we should probably keep an eye on them. Well, we generally like on the in this stream, on the Thursday stream, the the ironclad rule is you have to maintain madness even privately. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, you'll play. That's, that's, yeah, that's that's the way it's going to have to be. So what's interesting, I think what I reckon Nikki will do is I think he'll shoot his uh, Slayer shot on day one or day two, and then he can just Ooh. comfortably say, "Hey guys, I was the Slayer. I was the Slayer." And then finally, and I I think he's going to, I think he's going to wait till later in the game, try and stay alive, and then just keep attempting it in the hopes that the Slayer is actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, like, like that's that's one of the things. Um, like, the pixie does learn when they gain the ability, if I recall. Yeah. Oh right, okay, so, that makes sense. It's good so, like, he'll know. Got a freaking clue. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the pixie will learn when they've gained the ability successfully, uh, which means he'll know when he can really slay. But there is something really charming about Nikki just repeatedly slaying like every day, and I really hope he does that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no. So, um, just to just to clarify a question in the chat, madness is a con is a condition that has different penalties or benefits. For the pixie, you gain a benefit if you act mad, and that benefit is so long as you are behaving mad and your townsfolk dies, you get their ability. Uh, that's different to the Seren Novus, which says behave as this character or else you are executed. Yeah. So, um, the Seren Novus is an example of what we call negative madness, madness that has a detriment. Uh, the pixie is an example of positive madness. Madness that gets you something. Exactly. So, to, to reiterate the point, madness is completely separate to execution. It's just that the vast majority of examples of madness include execution. But in fact, there are many, many other examples of madness in, in playtest characters and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, madness uh, in... let's do this. Sorry. That's all right. You, yeah. You, you, keep, you keep going. Um, all right, everyone ready? No. Do this. Uh, yes, yeah. we're ready. Question mark. Uh, cool, you've not got... Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. Alright. Get ready, everyone. Uh, Movia. Amy, after after today, you call to be on Movia duty. I can be on Movia duty. Cool. Yeah, Be Ben, you're cutting in and out a little bit. Not much, but just kind of in the sentences, by the way. Oh, okay. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, a bit better. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. doop a doop a doop a doop can you guys hear me okay on the stream? <clears throat> How would you rule a Serenovus Pixie conflict? I mean, a Serenovus Pixie conflict would be interesting. Uh, that would be a situation where, unless the storyteller was feeling generous, they would be basically screwed. Or they would have to give up their Pixie ability. 
It would, it uh, would, the players are asking for their roles. Have you sent their roles yet? No. I like to put them in their cottages first. Fair <laughs> enough. Put them in their place. Okay. Uh, I think we may have to manually go to Nikki and tell him he's the pixie, but let's just do that now. Let's just go talk to him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> yeah, I thought oh, you might like this. Um, so have have fun. we're actually just here to make sure you've got your character because we don't know if it's in the if it's in your brain tool yet. But I mean, um, I'm guessing <laughs> the giggling probably gives it away. Yep. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll we'll be back to you uh, shortly, but we have other places to be first. So. Uh... Oh. All right. I guess follow me, Amy. I'll follow you. Hey, Chris. Hello. So, uh, I'm assuming you've seen what you are. Uh, your minions are Ed and Hazel. And Fun. your demon is Duke. Oh, again. Yeah. Who has just Too sent right. me a delightful little, um, <laughs> little emoticon that's just a, a, a guy having a, some sort of panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope that fills you with confidence and good luck with the game. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell are we going now? I'm so bad at this. There we go. <clears throat> Hello, Ed. Hello. So, uh, your minions are Hazel and Chris. Uh, okay. And your demon is Duke. Hazel, Chris, and Duke. Oh, Duke again. Oh, dude. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm sure. Well, you know, he's warmed up, right? That's that's what you want to take from this. You've got it. He's already. Yeah. yeah. You've got a guy who's ready. All right. Good luck. <clears throat> Hello, Hazel. Hello. So, uh, your minions are Ed and Chris. Your demon is Duke. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Someone's asking me if the count is correct. I'm pretty sure it is. Three minions and one imp, yeah? That's right. 14 yeah. player game. It should be like 7 1 3 1. Yep, that's spot on exactly. Oh, oh. Mm hmm. All right, fantastic. Uh,. All right, let's go break. Let's go break more news to Duke. Here we go. Hello. Ah. Uh, you confident? Ah. Uh, You're warmed up. This is like this is it. this should be easy. You've just done this in hard <laughs> mode. Now you get to do it in it's, easy it's, mode. <laughs> it's, it's been like it's been like two months since I've been evil on 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 stream. Well, and then like the last three games or the last like two today's stream and the last stream. That I was in, I was evil in both of them. I'm on like a hard evil streak. I don't like it. Yeah, guaranteed win then. Yeah, looking forward to it. So uh, your yeah. minions are Chris, Hazel, and Ed. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh no, I fear the chef. I fear the chef. Chris, Hazel, Chris, Hazel, and Ed. Ed, sorry, I'm on a trackpad. So that's all right. Uh, and your bluffs are Butler. Nice. <laughs> Empath. Also nice. Washer woman. Ooh, spicy. All right. All right. Good uh, luck, dude. Thanks. We. All right. Let's kick things off. Uh, Hello again, Chris. Hey, did you say my minions were Ed and Hazel? Yes. Cool. Right. So, who would you like to poison? I would. <laughs> I won't. But I would love to poison Ed just in case he's the spy because it would be funny. <laughs> But I wait. Um, <laughs> let's poison. Oh, so many options. Ooh. Let's poison. Let's poison cat. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, that was brilliant. I was really hoping he was going to say Nikki. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> poison investigator. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's remove the uh, right and wrongs and do two wrongs. Uh, I'm thinking let's 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 accuse someone of being the Baron because they're going to quickly figure Ooh. out there's a Baron in play, right? So let's say that either um, Evie or Adam is the Baron. Yeah, what do you think? Ah, uh, let's see which one's Adam. Adam's Mayor. Yeah, that'll alternatively. <laughs> I, hmm. I don't want to punish. You know what? I, I, I don't want to push him too hard. Yeah. 
Um, well, yeah, Adam doesn't oh, have any way of proving himself, so he's always going to be under suspicion if we I've, do this. I've got an even better idea, It's not necessarily Amy. a bad thing. I've got an even better idea. Let's use this as an opportunity to get Jack killed, so that Nikki can take <laughs> over. So let's, <laughs> let's go with Adam or Jack. Also, also, if they both come out claiming Slayer, it's going to look like maybe we did do that thing where we didn't actually put the pixie in. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Are you, you happy with Adam or Jack? I think Adam and Jack's a nice, a nice pool, yeah. Alright, good stuff. Okay, um, so next Where we to go... next? Oh. Nikki. Uh, Nikki is next. Let's do it. Alright, so this is officially the first time I've ever done a pixie. Oh, this will be fun then. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the one in Play Townsfolk that you know about is the Slayer. Oh, two Slayer shots. Yeah, this should be interesting. Okay, I do have a couple of questions. Yeah, go for it. Uh, first of all, uh, when uh, when I gain the Slayer ability, will I be told that I've gained it? Yes, I already knew this before the game started. I totally didn't get that off Amy ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and from that point on, can I then claim that I was actually the Pixie? Uh, to once start you've gained with? the ability, you no longer have to be mad. You don't yeah. lose yeah. the ability once you gain it. And really looking I... forward to seeing how you deal with this as well, Nikki. <laughs> There's going to be multiple people who are going to go for Slayer shots as well. This is going to be annoying. Um, next question is, um, in, how are you running Madness? Do I have to say that Slayer is my only role, or can I free for free with people? I, and do I have to be public? I What we are looking for, so... you Obviously, you must not privately tell people that you're really the pixie because that would be breaking madness you you have to in our opinion act the way that people would expect a slayer to act whilst also sort of informing most of the group that you're the slayer um so you know there are there are a number of ways you can achieve that uh, the most obvious one is to wake up on day one and go i'm the slayer and i shoot this person i was literally point, thinking of that yeah you could you could then just say i'm a spent slayer which is still being mad that you're the slayer uh, it's entirely up to you how you go about it but uh, to be honest with you, Nikki, since this is all kind of new to us, uh, if we feel like you're not doing enough, we'll give you a little nudge. Okay. Okay, that's fair. But I'm sure you'll, okay. I'm sure you'll manage it. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, ben, can I grab you back to the top cottage, please? Yep. Yeah, go for it. Yo. Someone in chat pointed out that uh, Jack is confirmed by Nikki, which means the investigator ping on him is going to be obviously wrong uh, uh, once they <clears> track that bit of information. Yeah, so that all that's going to mean is that people will think that Adam is the Baron, right? Um, oh my gosh, people are really coming out with the questions now. Um, I mean, I suppose so, but uh, if I was in this situation and I was given someone who was confirmable, um, my assumption would be that something was wrong with my ability. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it, but th that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it, really? Um, no, no, but... I, mean, um, I think by, by the time... Jack is killed. Uh, by the time Jack's killed, then it will be pretty obvious. Yeah, I, d I think I think it will achieve its goals before it becomes obvious. And I don't think it's necessarily right. if you if you're like if you're like 100% saying we should do something else, I'm more than happy to do something else. But I don't I don't see that as a major issue personally. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, okay. So we could go we could go yeah. Jack and Simon, which would make it seem as though Simon was a recluse registering as a Baron. But then, but then the poisoning doesn't uh, like. Then well, you, I don't know. I, I just brought it back because I was like, I, I just want to make sure that you were aware that like this poisoning could be found out. And if you're okay with that, then I don't see any reason to change it. Uh, it's more just like I wasn't sure if that was what you were after or not. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I oh, mean... and uh, no, uh, just to clarify some questions, the, the easy one. Uh, Nikki does not learn that Jack is the Slayer. He just learns there is a Slayer. Yeah. It's not like Grandmother. It's similar, but not the same. Uh, for the person who said, uh, can they gain the ability twice? I hadn't thought of that, so I'll have to go away and come back to you. Come see the Aussie stream for the answer. Um, <laughs> I mean, for the purpose uh, of this game, I would say no. Because once you yeah. once you gain it... Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I mean, like, we don't have any situation where the Pixie's liable to gain it twice because there's no resurrection stuff going on here. So my thought would be that you gain it once, but... Um, 
we might have to think about that. Yeah. Uh, rules question. When the pixie is poison, you probably show them a character that's not in play. Um, and they... Well, I mean, in previous... In, like this is, this is one of those things that I think... Um, I'm just going to go and look at Ed's thing and make sure that I'm... L let me get back to you. I just want to make sure that I've got the official Steve ruling on that one. Okay, well, I'm going to continue, continue the night phase. Continue the night phase. I will join with you in a sec. Okay. Hello, cat. Hello, Ben. So, Investigator, you awake and learn that either Adam or Jack is the Baron. Nice. Okay, they're, they're going to be not surprised that I go gunning for them, are they? <laughs> not at all. Awesome. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, given that um, Deviant has been thrown in between Simon and Duke as the chef, I mm -hmm. think we are going to show Deviant a two. I like it. As the drunk chef, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Particularly, particularly with Simon as recluse, because when people get like a large chef number, they look for recluses. Yeah. And this is, and uh, the fact that Deviant is next to recluse is going to make them focus on the other side of the circle, which means that Duke and Chris are hopefully going to escape notice. Okay. Hello, Deviant. Ew. So, uh, chef, you learn that there are two pairs of evil players neighboring each other. Ooh. Yeah, it's good. Thank Big you. number. All right. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, uh, and our final stop this evening is going to be Aggie the Fortune Teller. I'll just All right, I will join you for that. Uh Hello, Aggie. Hi, Ben. So, uh, Fortune Teller, who do you want to pick? Um... <clears throat> I'm going to pick my dream team, which is Chris and Evie. Chris and Evie, and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Oh, that's nice, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, <laughs> up top. Okay. We're good. We'll wait a couple of seconds and we'll wake them all up? Yeah. Sounds like a How do you think... Oh, I should start a prediction again. <laughs> yeah, go for it. This is a good time for it, Nafed. I've seen the first night. Uh, all right, who's going to win? Good or evil? Good, evil. You guys have to... I'm going to give you 10 minutes to go over the predictions so you can watch the first day and make your choice. There you go. All right. How do you think they're going to go, Ben? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to say, isn't it, at this early stage? I think that the setup currently... I think that there are... I think that if Aggie and Evie can stay alive long enough, veteran players with characters that are that opaquely good uh, can do a mm. lot of damage to Evil, and I think those two guys are going to be key. Um, yeah. I, I think it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes Kat to figure out she's got false info. Um, I suspect that she will think she's the drunk because she always seems to do that. She never thinks that she was poisoned. She always seems to think she was the drunk, in my experience. And if she's the drunk, then the, more importantly, if she convinces the others that she's drunk, then they'll think that no one else is drunk, and that's a very good thing. Exactly. Well, let's 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 do this. All right, I'm gonna wake him up. Do the movie is. Welcome back to town, everybody. It is uh, day one of the Leviathan game. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, here we go. Teddy Bearing. Uh, good luck, everyone. Okay, can I can I just say what just, what I just said in chit chat to chat? Um, a Philo Pixie shown a Pixie is in play, and a Pixie is then shown that the Philo is in play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nikki. Adam, do you want to you chat? You know, it's really great when we release characters, because then literally two seconds later, someone has done something that I would never have thought of myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so straight away, it's broken. Okay, stream's over. We need to go fix it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Me. Right, so who, who wanted want to a chat? conversation, Adam? Go on, Nikki. Oh. Let's go. Ah, oh, well. Hey, Simon. Okay. Neighbor. Uh, yeah, yeah sure. Let's go. Oh, you did? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. You s I was. I don't. Oh, don't know about going second in that conversation. I we'll have to go, always go first from now on. Um. So, what do you what? want to tell me? Do you want to give me you some information? Me in here. Yeah. Do you want to give me some information? Um. Blind claim day one. Or go for it. Want to. Yeah. Let's do it. 
I'm the Slayer. Do you want to try again? I'm the Slayer. Yep, okay. Cool, Pixie. Uh, I'm the Slayer. Okay, you're evil. Well, we're I'm in a script. It's specifically designed about a character that's supposed to double claim and in play town. So... Cool. Now, this, this works out quite well, because on... What you should do is leave me alive a few days, then you can execute me, and then you can have a Slayer shot the, the following day. I... Confused. Well, you're the Pixie. I'm the Slayer. You've got the Slayer ability, and therefore I'm mad about it, but can't admit to it. So, once I've used my Slayer shot, you can kill me, and then you can have a second Slayer shot. I'm not the Pixie. And I know I'm you're going to say. I'm confused. Nikki, I know you're going to say this because you have to maintain madness for the pixie ability. But this this is a good plan. I cool. I feel like you're trying to bait me into something. I don't trust it. I'm not. I'm not trying to bait you into anything. I'm saying you can execute me in a few days' time. Okay. okay. Cool. I don't trust you. You don't. You do. Either I'm an, a good player bluffing, or an evil player bluffing, or I'm a. <laughs> play tell it, or I'm a good player telling the truth. Basically, basically, you're not. You're, you're bluffing, so therefore you're not the Slayer. I'm the Slayer. Oh, good chat. <laughs> what? Oh, Nikki, I'm glad we had this chat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Chat, help me. Nikki, don't worry. I I oh, believe that you, I believe I believe okay, you, I you are the I, I believe you are the pixie and I I don't think we need to I'm not the pixie what are you doing? <laughs> Nikki Nikki This conversation is okay. ridiculous lads but you're going to have to wrap it up because it's getting too long to be clipped Okay <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, we, don't, we don't we we don't need for you to to argue this much we just need quiet acceptance that you are the pixie and that you're mad about being the slayer and okay, sure. there is nothing else that needs to be done. There is a reason chat followed you into this conversation. <laughs> and that is okay, it. Jack. Okay, Jack. Good you, day, you... Nikki. I said good day. Okay, bye. Oh my, oh my god. god. What? <laughs> what that was random luck. Uh, I mean, was it though, Nikki? <laughs> I mean, if he's not the slayer, that would be hilarious. But uh, oh, someone please spy. clip that. Someone please clip oh, that. That was amazing. Spy. I don't know if he's a spy, and he knows that. But <laughs> Amy, you missed. <laughs> I was oh like, I was like, I, I'm, I'm the slayer. He's like, no, you're not. Try again. And so Jack's claim is slayer. <laughs> he's actually the slayer. And that, that is, yeah, that's crazy. I love it. Right, I'm going back. Wow. That was incredible. Amy, you're muted. I just saw that unfold on stream. <laughs> oh I was trying God. to listen to someone else and then I saw and then I saw oh my god, they're in the same chat and I had to stop and come and check it out. Oh my god. Oh, thank you for clipping that, I guy. That oh my god, that was amazing. How, uh, these I don't know what it is about these new characters, but it's like I, I swear to god we are not like we're not, what's the word? We're not synthesizing these situations. They just happen naturally. Uh, that was huge, though. That was absolutely huge for day one. For the, for yeah, the, the they're going to get two shots off if they if they time it right and if the evil team doesn't figure out what's happening because I would kill a pixie slayer. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, if I was Jack right was now, a lot of I'd slay someone day one, uh, advocate for his own execution, and then, yeah, that's what I'd be doing mm -hmm. right now if I was Jack. Also of note, Simon is claiming fortune teller to Evie, who claimed Undertaker back. Brilliant. So I don't know. I, I, my guess is Simon is trying to get killed at night, but um, I don't know if Evie's going to be particularly happy with that situation when it gets revealed. Well, let's. Have we got any evil chats on the go? Where's Duke at? Duke and Patrick. Uh, he is with Patrick. Um, he was claiming investigator or washerwoman, which neither are going to work really well for him against no. Pat, so we're going to see how that goes. Yeah, let's find out. Thank you. Wow, that was a riveting discussion. Just jump in there. Thank you. And then they immediately leave. Uh, let's go see what Ed and Nicky are talking about. Oh, I don't want to play this game now. Um, <laughs> so, for, 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 chat's benefit, for chat's benefit, I've claimed to Ed uh, Slayer, Recluse, and Raven Keeper. And Ed's like, oh, I know all about you from that's that. That's not what I said. I, I said that's... Your role. 
And I was like, I, come on, introduce it. That's a massive exaggeration. What I said was, that's interesting. That tells me something about you. And Nikki was like, so you know what I am then? I was like, no. Because um, I, as I pointed out, it's Nikki. There's a 40 to 50% chance that all three of the roles he's given me are bollocks. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, so, Nikki, gonna claim? Yeah. I will claim to you, uh, Virgin, Undertaker, or Ravenkeeper. Okay. That's told me so much about you. <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. Um, <laughs> if I were the Virgin, would you nominate me? Um... If do you have any other? Yeah. Mm. Uh, if you were the virgin, uh, I I could, unless I'm a recluse, in which case I wouldn't. Cool. Fair enough. Good to know. Thanks, Nikki. Yeah. Bye. The virgin. No, not the virgin. Sorry, the Slayer. I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, and the monk. The chef, the Slayer, and the monk. There are a lot yeah. of Slayers in this town. Um, yeah. I will give you Empath, Saint, or Soldier. Oh, Empath, Saint, or Soldier. Thank There's a you. wide range of uh, claims there just to cover all of my bases. Yeah. I'm not happy about the Saint, though. <laughs> well, if, we, if I am the Saint, then I guess... You know, um, yeah. hopefully evil will pick me off at night. Hopefully. All your secrets so. safe with me. Alright, thanks. If you're, wait, before you go, if you're the chef, would you be willing to reveal your number? Uh, not, not the specific number, but I can say it's more than zero. Ooh, more than zero. Okay. Yeah. So a one or a two... Worst case scenario of four, but oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed for um. Yeah, fingers. <laughs> well, a nice big number will. <laughs> <Very helpful. laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you. See thank you back. You. Yeah. Then I am um, hard claim to Simon. So um, if he's evil, then I guess I'll be dying tonight or poisoned. <laughs> Pray for me, chat. <laughs> We'll Pray see. for a monk. <laughs> All right, I'll see you back in town. Cheers. Plural. Plural. Okay. Um, you tell me how many. Two. Give me two. Uh. Okay. Um. You seem surprised by that number. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm always interested because the the meta's the meta moves all the time in terms of how many claims people like having. There was a phase we went through where we all, people always wanted one. Um, okay. Um, Virgin or Undertaker? Way too much. Virgin Undertaker, okay. Mm -hmm. What are you going to give me? Uh, Empath Fortune Teller. Ooh, interesting. Why not both, though? An Undertaker <laughs> looking for true love in a harsh world. <laughs> Sorry, I really do need some sleep. <laughs> just, just losing my, mind right now. <laughs> my mind is really not in the game. I'll just I'll go back into the shadows now. But I like this whimsical world we're living in, and I kind of want that to be a thing now. Yeah, um, but you're setting expectations now. Can I? I'm right. I'm going to claim for the rest of the game to be both, and see how long I can make that work. Um. Yeah, that's my role. That's what it says on my token. Virgin Undertaker. It's, it goes a really long way around the token. It's Very like... specific. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should talk to Jack about it. Um, out of the game, not necessarily. <laughs> uh, speaking of, have you heard from Jack, who's sitting next to you? Uh, I have not. I have gone the other way around my town, my town square. I've spoken to Pat, Adam, and Nikki. So interesting. Not, what did you get from Adam? Um. Claimed outsider. Hmm, okay. Uh, Adam has been seen by an investigator. As. Are you willing to say which? Baron. Well, he claimed outsider, so we should definitely kill Adam. Okay, well, there we go. You. The investigator is now thrice removed from you, so you can just. Oh dear. Nominate Adam. 
<laughs> oh dear, right, okay, fair enough. Um, uh, I might at do which that. point does it just become hearsay? No, no. <laughs> Alright, get ready, because peeps are about to be dragged back, kicking All and screaming. All those peeps. All them peeps. <laughs> do you like peeps? Hello, everybody. Welcome ah, back. We're done. Welcome we're back done. to Town Square. Town Square 2, Electric Boogaloo. Here we go. Uh, nominations are open. Does anyone have any? Does anyone have anything they'd like to share with the gang? Uh, I would before... like to... Oh, oh never mind. Kyle. Uh, no, go, go, go ahead. Oh, no, you first. Okay. Um, I'd like to claim... The Slayer, and I'd like the Slayer shoot. Oh. Evie. Okay, Deviant claims Slayer attempts to shoot Evie. There is no effect. Woo. I'd, I'd like, like to claim Slayer, Slayer and Slayer shoot Ed. Okay, Cat claims Slayer shoots Ed. There is no effect. I'd like to claim Slayer and shoot Adam because he's on his seat. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. But now for the chair police. <laughs> but because he is not in his seat, he simply hits a seat. Uh, all right, so I, I would like to just... Simon. Sorry, was that Duke? Simon. Yep. Uh, shoot Simon, please. Duke claims Thanks. Slayer, shoot Simon. There is no effect. Um, uh, I would like to claim Slayer and let everybody know that I'm saving my shot for tomorrow. Okay, I, I would like to claim <laughs> Fortune Teller. And I would like to say that I, I check Jack and Aggie as who I regard as the two most suspicious players in the group. Sorry, Aggie. Not sorry, Jack. Um, <laughs> and I I got a, uh, a no, so I reckon they're probably both minions. God. No. <laughs> I am <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ed. Ed. What? I have so Ed. many questions. Ed. Adam, yeah? Did you, did you find someone? Um, I had people who said potentially. Um, so I'm interested would, to see what happens. I would love for Cat to be the person to nominate you, Ed. Mm. Sure, yeah, I nominate Ed. Okay, Cat nominates Ed. Cat, tell us why you've nominated Ed. Um, because Adam wanted me to, and I think this is to give Ed cover of a virgin bluff from the sound of things. Um... I'm a little bit suspicious of Ed because he was one of the first people to go speaking to Adam, who an investigator has seen as the Baron. Um, that's fair. I've heard that. Uh, I will happily tell you that before I spoke to Adam, I claimed Virgin to Patrick. I also claimed Virgin to Nikki and Aggie, and that is all four of my conversations today. Um, yeah, unless correct. you think that, unless you think that Ad, uh, Patrick is my demon. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Um, I would have to have just pulled that out of my ass um, if you think I'm not the Virgin. Unfortunately, I am the Virgin, which makes me very suspicious of you, Gat. Um, I am very suspicious of you as well, to be honest, but I think uh, one of us should die. Cool. Okay. Happy for it to be me, though, and then an Undertaker can see me as a drunk. Who will it be? And mine. Her and an yeah. Go on, then, Hazel. I have also heard that an, that an investigator saw Baron, but... Ed was not who they saw. No, I saw Adam, Adam and Jack, but Adam um, and Ed had a conversation quite soon uh, in the day. I nailed Adam in for my first chat, and Ed was the one who spoke to him afterwards, so I am um, uh, somewhat sus of that. Of Ed. Cat. Cat, you didn't nail me. We had a conversation. No, I, was... <laughs> I nailed <laughs> you down the you. person I wanted Ooh. to speak, speak to. Kind of Can you please not ruin my immersion in this neo noir <laughs> investigator RPG? Right, come on, you should know she better. Also, oh, actually, I, I have one she other doubted me as evil, Ben, is what I thought, what I assumed she meant. I also would like to point out that um, I have one other piece of pertinent information. Uh, I am actually the Virgin Undertaker. Um, that, that's all one role. Um, for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, this is getting really, really fucking dumb. So I'm going to start the uh, countdown now. Here we go. <laughs> ben, it is 100% your fault uh, that this is really fucking dumb right now. Uh, I'm just going to point out that it's an extremely toxic behaviour to blame the storyteller for how dumb you are. <laughs> uh, can we just execute the storyteller now? <laughs> 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 
Four is not enough. Uh, do we have any other nominations? Somebody should nominate me for an Undertaker. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, Ed nominates Adam. Adam. Okay. Ed, presumably, uh, you, you've pretty much made your point already, right? See above. Okay, can. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to vote for myself on this, but I will say that I think it would be more fruitful to kill off Adam and Jack. Jack did give me a very convincing plea that it would be better if we left him a few days and wait until he's caught a star pass before we kill him. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so I think Jack might be a better kill than me, but honestly, I'm fine to die. That conversation was taken out of context, but that was mostly true, yes. Okay, this said we have to kill Ed tomorrow, guys. I'd, I'd rather execute Jack. I mean, uh, it should be pointed out, Hazel, it very much depends what an Undertaker sees for He's Cat. Because uh, if they see drunk, th if they see drunk, this is all based on nothing. Yeah, exactly. Like Adam and I happen to have a conversation. Yeah, I mean, I will still nominate um, I Jack. Say, um, it is worth bearing in mind that a spy will know who is drunk in the game. I am pretty sure that Ben would make me drunk given the chance. And um, getting that, that was my argument about to, to nominate the Virgin is a really good evil play. So, hey, I'll, I'll nominate Jack. Okay, Patrick nominates Jack. In a stunning turn of events. Uh, now, I don't necessarily want to not kill Cat. We can still kill Cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for that. Oh, okay. Jack wants to die <laughs> because I told him some information. <laughs> that was he that didn't like. Was that all of <laughs> it? Yeah. We can still kill Cat. The end. <laughs> yeah. Fine, are you okay, buddy? Aggie, do you want to go check on him? I I will. Jack also said I am, honestly, I, did it I, I, am, I, am, I am guessing yeah. that, that again. I finished what I said. And there was no response. God damn it! Did, did you hear anything that I said? <laughs> you said um, we can we still can kill Pat, and Pat. then just left. <laughs> Say so, if you want to start that again. That's all the reason you need. He's also uh, not he's here again. again. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Finally, Jack, Jack, someone's Jack, internet is defense, fucking worse please. than mine. <laughs> yeah, because he's always evil. There could be a situation where Ed or Cat are the drunk, and I just want to kill Jack more, and I'll be nominating him every day until he dies, killing me demon otherwise. Bye. Okay, Jack. <laughs> so, uh, I, I was the execution day one and day two last game, so let's not let's not repeat last game because uh, <laughs> it didn't go well for the good team. Uh, I'd also like to point out we have someone on the chopping block, and I have been confirmed by every other role, so you might as well leave me alive. Okay. Confirmed right. by every other role. <laughs> We've got eight my cat. That means we need nine for Jack. Here we go. Yep, every yeah, role, fortune teller, empath, washerwoman, <laughs> librarian, they're all on, on me. Uh, uh, Jack, you didn't nominate the Virgin there, Jack, did Jack, you? Jack is the spy. Why is Aggie's internet perfect? Um, we can't <laughs> hear a word that <laughs> sake. Because I'm on the cable and he's on Wi Fi. Oh, uh, fair yep. enough. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, Look, can you not get like a really uh, long cable? Alright. As much as, uh, I, as, much as I'm enjoying the fruity banter, do we have any other nominations? Has someone yeah. nominated Adam yet? Or? No, no, I, I no. Aggie. Aggie, can we let can we let Nikki make this nomination? Oh, I, don't want to nominate. I just want to kill Jack. Nikki Slayer shoots Jack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is no effect. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna bring you the to a close in three. Aggie nominates Adam. Okay, Aggie nominates Adam. Aggie, tell us why you've nominated Adam. Potential Baron seen by an investigator. That's the only thing, really. Okay, Adam. Well, sure. I've got nothing to say. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, nine required. Here we go. He says as he twirls his moustache. Was that a lo lo-fi claiming saint? <laughs> no? Okay. I, I say nothing at this point. Um, it would be really interesting to know how many outsiders people come across and if there is evidence for a Baron in game. I've come uh, across one outsider. One. Yeah, one I mean, me. Kat, one you're, claim. Kat, you're not going to listen to this from me, but I've came across two people claiming outsider. Um, unfortunately, one of them was Adam, which does reinforce your idea that he's the Baron. Three, mm. two. Yeah. But I also don't think Adam would, in Kat a Baron situation, would be executed. as boring as to claim and outsider. Die. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Dies. Thank you. Can I execute and die? Go to your cottages. There we go. All right. 
Oh, these guys are getting getting very uh, very loud. And it took me a second. I think we both sent it. Oh right, okay. Well, the worst thing is I'll just go to bed twice. Yeah, well, I mean that sounds pretty attractive prospect to me right now. Um, so uh, that was interesting. That oh my god, that conversation between Jack and Nikki. I could not believe it. you can't write this stuff. You cannot write this stuff. I, I have had the clip sent to me by like three or four different people in the chat. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I was I was on movie duty. I wasn't distracted. <laughs> uh, All right. right. Uh, this is going to be I'm huge now. Who's Chris going to poison? Cr if he poisons Chris Evie, is poison. Oh, that's uh, well, if he does poison Evie. What do we want to show? Cat as definitely drunk because it would back up Ed's claim to be the virgin. I like it. I like it a lot. And it'll and it'll and it'll, and it'll um self. Uh, Confirm for Cat, and she won't think very hard on it. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, Cat's already like into the idea that I would make her the drunk. So yeah, let's let's lean into that. Uh, but this is a very this is an outside chance. We don't know who's gonna we don't know what's gonna happen, right? Um, let's go see who he picks. Christopher, who would you like to? Poison? Hello, I would like Hello. to poison Patrick tonight, Patrick. please. Patrick. No, this is Patrick. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, <Pat. laughs> Great job. <laughs> All right, Duke. Hello. Who do you want to uh, work? Well, I don't know who the Undertaker is, if there is one. Uh, so I'm going to go and hedge my bets that you hid in them between the investigator pings. No. Was Nikki playing last game? Nikki was playing last game. All right, we kill Nikki then. Okay, Nikki, it is. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> that's kind of gutting. Although, no. what, what what we will now have, however, is a situation where uh, Nikki, Nikki is. Came out. Yeah, he can come out, uh, but he, he's, I know what he's like. He's going to say that Jack was the spy because he always goes to the, like, the, the least likely sort of outside chance evil thing. So I think we're going to see some seriously... Um, <laughs> we got what we wanted from a pixie game, that clip. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. Uh, we got, I think we're going to see uh, those two guys butting horns for the entire game now, which is going to be delightfully entertaining to watch. But yeah, that is kind of a shame, but it's all good. Uh, let's go... Yeah. Let's go. Speak oh, sh back. Shout out to Jam in the chat saying that Duke has ruined Christmas. Yeah. Um, and it's only January. <laughs> mm hmm. Who are we going to next? Aggie. Uh, J Hello, Aggie. Can you hear us, Aggie? Yeah, yeah. I'm just yep. wondering if I should follow um, Simon's idea and check me and Jack, but I have, I have other plans. <sighs> I would like to check uh, Hazel and Jack, please. Hazel and Jack. You check Hazel and Jack and you learn that no, neither of them is the demon. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alright, oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, moving on. Hi, Evie. Hello, I'm not dead. You are hmm. not dead, uh, and you awake, and you learn that Kat was, in fact, the investigator. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Alright, interesting night that was. I just heard Evie make a little hmm sound after you left, which made me think yeah, that I'm not sure... She doesn't believe me. She doesn't believe me. Because everyone's so paranoid, they they are expecting to be lied to all the time. <laughs> I think that's a great state for people to be in with their storyteller, because it means that they don't try and meta you. Or, if anything, they meta you in a way that's only beneficial for evil most of the time. Absolutely. I kind of hope that more people are like this to me in my day-to-day -day life. Like, walking to Starbucks, <laughs> what do you want? Latte, please? <laughs> really? Sure don't want a mocker? Is that you sure? Yeah, uh, that, that just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would want a mocker, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. That's what you want me to think. That you want me to think you want a mocker. Here's your espresso, fucker. <laughs> All right, um, so we've lost, we've lost Nikki, which is a bit of a bummer. But um, and there's still a lot of powerful good evil. I reckon they're probably going to take it out today because of cats uh, getting confirmed, yeah, potentially. 
we'll see. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited to see how this plays out now with the picky, with the pixie dying so early. Uh, mm. Will will an evil player take up the mantle and be like, actually, I'm the pixie? Uh, Great be... news is that Jack hasn't used his Slayer shot yet and is about to be a semi-confirmed Slayer. Yeah. Like, or at least a Slayer that's got a bit more backup than the standard Slayer. Um, so, I think the uh, I think what's going to be really interesting... Also, I low-key really hope they execute Pat for no reason. Yeah. Alright, let's wake yeah. him up. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Although it is not a good morning for Nikki, who died in the night. Nikki, let's have a chat. Star pass? Day yeah. on day on night <laughs> one, really? Pass. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it star past him. Hey! hey. Uh -huh. um, Nikki! Probably, uh, too many people in the same chat. Nikki, yes. do you want do you want to claim anything to me? Yeah, so you must be the pits. <laughs> you realise you're dead now, and you can't come back. I know I'm dead. I know I'm dead. I'm very sad. Um, are you legit the Slayer? Yes. Oh my god, that was random luck. <laughs> I know, and you wouldn't do didn't believe me yesterday. No, I did. I've got to be mad about it. <laughs> I know. Uh, but you didn't, you, uh, trust, trust, why did you just not wait? We could have had some cool Slayer shots. Hmm? Okay, we're, we're going to both play the Slayer, this game. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is we hold off as long as possible, because the, no sane demon is going to kill me at night. Uh, yeah. All I've got to do is avoid execution, and I will live as long as I can. I have a couple of issues. Okay. Issue number one. Um, out of question, uh, did you tell anyone yesterday what, what was your chat yesterday about me? About you? Yeah. I didn't say anything about you. Who did you talk to yesterday? Uh, Hazel, Cat, Adam. Okay. So now we're you know, just, issues. just, just every suspicious person in the circle, based off that, his activity. Now, Jack, we're going to have some issues. Why? I didn't do anything. Well, I think you did, though. You see, so you're right. Uh, Nikki, Nikki. Okay. Let, let, let me talk through what happened to me yesterday, and then, uh, and then you'll see where my issue is. I have a chat with Hazel, and I say, yeah. I've and claiming the same free roles which I've claimed to a couple of other people, obviously Slayer, Recluse, and Raven Key. Yeah. I'm allowed to do free for freeze. And here's was like, hey, you're not. You're, you're, you're lying to me. I'm like, okay. Eh? She's like, oh, I, I've heard that you're a different role according to somebody else. Like, who have you spoken to? Um, and she said, that I, no, I, I'm, I'm none of those roles. Like, what role have you heard? She's like, I've heard you claim Pixie to someone. Definitely haven't claimed Pixie to anyone. Amy was in this chat at a point, which makes me think that Hazel is evil and trying to make me lose my Pixie ability. Uh, and it sounds like she got this information from you. Have because you? of the yeah, because of the characters they claimed, I thought it would be dis dishonest not to reveal my real role. Uh, okay, just for, so... for 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 chat and storyteller's sake, I have uh, come clean as being the recluse. Um, Evie is now claiming to me that. She is the soldier and not the undertaker. Yeah, but I'm bluffing the empath. Mm. So, um, given well, that... I mean, I'm happy happened. for me to be executed. Well, I think we can leave you alive for maybe another day or two because we've got, what, an investigator with a ping that it might be good to um, look at that side of things. But... Um, I've, since I've been fake claiming empath, I'll say that my number's gone from a zero to a one to line up with your recluse claim. Okay. Good but um, since you've hard claimed recluse to me, then um, we can we can revisit this in a few days' time. I'm sure we can. Uh, who do you think is evil? Um, it's hard to say. Um, I haven't talked to enough people yet, but um, I'm. I need to try and talk to 
what Adam, Jack, and Kat just to see if there is any if there's any witch shenanigans going on, or if there generally could be a Baron hiding there. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. I will be going back to Town Square. Thank you very much. All right. See you back. We'll see how this play works out. <laughs> <laughs> now I've lied to everybody in um in town. So um, right, I think the name of the game, Evie. Yep. That's what we do. Going to have to find one person to uh, confide in <laughs> before the before the um my <laughs> accusation comes calling. All right. Well. Good luck. All right. See you back. All right. Um. Yeah. Later. Cheers, dude. All right. <laughs> oh, I love. Election. I love how I'm now getting blamed for the silliness in this game, um, when it's a hundred percent because you're sleep drunk. <laughs> That's not true at all. I've got Amy. I'm just like this is like a weekend at Bernie's type thing, you know, where like they're just kind of moving the corpse around, making it look like it's alive. <laughs> basically like <laughs> I don't know if that's a reference that anyone in chat gets I mean there are over a hundred of you presumably at least some of you have seen Weekend at Bernie's but that's kind of what we're, what's going on here I think anyway I'm going to go listening on the nice. okay alright so I guess Ed or Adam I'd be willing to vote for Adam as well All but right. I do want Ed dead at some point that sounds fine by me thank you Kat uh, yeah sure up. yep <laughs> Trust me. Uh, there you go. Trust me. To go back to the town square, I could actually get through to you. I know, so, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so, what are you really doing, Edward? Um, this may surprise you, but I am actually the virgin. Um, which is why I'm happy that Cat's dead, and now we get to just move on with our lives. I mean, it means that you guys are going to waste time killing me, and probably yep. Adam, depending on if there was an Undertaker out there. But... Um, so so, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if, like, it, yeah, if cats cats not died to my ability, you've claimed outsider. Um, and we've so there are two possibilities I can see gone. here: either either one of you is drunk, mm -hmm. with the, with the potential of her being correct and it being yep. Adam or Nikki, or her being evil and none of this being true. Right? Effectively, it's kind of a yep. binary choice, and it's just which 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 one we believe more. I mean. Let's be honest. If if I pull Virgin, um, you probably make me drunk, right? Um, uh, maybe, or maybe you maybe I don't because that's what you expect. True, true. Um, and I mean, yeah, fair that's enough. Incredibly modest but, of you, Ed. Um, <laughs> I mean, you you know how this works, man. <laughs> you're not being the imp. You're being the fucking butler. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 what was that? The UK Games Expo. 15 players, me and 14 people who'd never played before, and I pull imp. Yeah, mm. I, get, I get it. There's also a chef too that's just appeared as well. Mm, that's an interesting piece of information. Um, yeah. I didn't see Kat talk to Chris or Jay, but I think she spoke to Aggie? She did. Um, Aggie spoke to Chris, I think. Alright, break Coming songs, in. guys. Here we go. Woo! Oh, oh no. no. Too late, Nikki. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. It's all good. Oh, Welcome back, everyone. Perfect. Welcome back. Nominations are open. Before we go into nominations, I would like the floor for a moment. No. No, the you get the ceiling. Fine. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, I am the pixie. Um, now, the reason why I'm outing this is because um, I highly suspect that Hazel is evil. Now, why would Nikki think that Hazel is evil? Well, I have a chat yesterday with Hazel uh, in which uh, I do my free for freeze, and Hazel says, "No, you're not. You're not any of those roles." I was like, "Why makes you say that?" I'm like, uh, I've been told that you're not any of those roles. I was like, "Well, where, where are you hearing that from?" Like, I've heard that you're the pixie. I'm like, okay. And Amy is in this conversation at this time. Now, to me, this feel. Uh, also, she specifically said that I had told somebody that I'm the pixie. Now, I never told anybody that I was the pixie. Okay? To me, this screams that Hazel knows that I am pixie from either talking to. Uh, I, it's been confirmed by somebody um, who believed that I was the pixie to have said that they believed that I was the pixie to Hazel. Uh, I don't know whether that person's evil or not yet, but. We'll, we'll get back to that, maybe. Uh, but to me, that felt like Hazel was trying to get me to lose my pixie power by 
having me outed as Pixie in front of one of the storytellers. Hazel, defend yourself. Have fun. Now, now hold on a second. You said this Amy lady was there. What do we know about her? <laughs> oh, she's, 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 she's a weird one. Things I've heard. Ooh, don't want to repeat all that. Um, pertinent info: Hazel came to speak to me um, and was very keen to let me know that she thought that Nikki was the pixie. So it sounds like she might have been trying to share some sus on other people. I don't know. Um, she's also keen to say how much she trusts Jack. What? Let's let's not bring me into this. I am my own entity. If I may now have the floor. Yeah. Let me okay. Um so I talked with Jack on day one. He told me that Nikki claimed Pixie to him. But that could be a Pixie play. Uh that, sorry, that could be a Nikki play to do that. And I said, Yeah, that sounds like a Nikki play. Later Nikki wanted to chat. We three for three. He said he was the Slayer, the Recluse, or the Raven Keeper. I said, cool, I have heard that you are not any of those three. Yes, at that point, Amy was in the room with us. Um, he was like, why? What did you hear? And I was like, well, you know what you've said to other people. He's like, I've only claimed these three to other people. So I was like, okay. Um, well, I heard you claim Pixie. He's like, I would never do that. Why would I claim Pixie if I am the Pixie? And I was like, dude, just, just saying. Um, so I left the chat. Cat immediately wanted to talk to me. Amy stayed behind with Nikki in the chat and unmuted herself. And so when Cat pulled me aside, I was like, Cat, wait, look at Backstab Alley right now. This is what just happened with me and Nikki, and now they're both still in there and Amy is not muted. I think Nikki I'm might actually have so many it. conversations with all of you from this point on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how my conversation with Cat went. I was like, I think Nikki might actually be the pixie because of that. And then we got dragged back before Pat could Cat could really respond because that, that was the end of the day. Yeah. That's First how that went down. That explains everything. I would also like to invite everybody to meta Hazel for a moment. In a game. When we are live streaming, presenting a pixie, if I knew I the pixie was in play, this. I would absolutely 100% not kill them off night one. I would leave the pixie in play for the sake of the live stream, or even just for the sake of a player having fun with a new character. I would never kill them off. You I'll can nominate Jack. Jack down. Okay, um, Pat nominates Jack. Pat, tell us why I've nominated Jack. <laughs> Well, Jack, Jack is definitely a person that would do that for a start. Like, he, he doesn't care about people having fun, apart from himself, because he's evil all the time. Plus he's a potential Baron, plus he's Jack, plus I said I will dominate him until he dies. <laughs> okay, Jack. Um, I am not the demon, says Simon. But what, what you've got to question here is that we shouldn't kill me. So let's... <laughs> Just <laughs> let this wave. <laughs> wow, is that a que that's not else. even a question. <laughs> that's just a statement. <laughs> Ask yourself this question: Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you kill me if you know I'm good? That's that's the question you've got to ask your heart. Uh, content. Well, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, six required. Let's go. Third time's charm. I think Jack. I should kill Ed or Adam today. I'm also oh, Hazel's not on the block. Oh, we should definitely Hazel kill Hazel. Hazel wasn't nominated. Hazel was never nominated. Hazel was never nominated. having a go at No, that. I would. Oh, I, <laughs> I was asked to publicly explain myself by a dead player. Ooh. That's all. Oh, 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 six is hey. enough. Jack on the block. Can somebody nominate hey. Hazel on my behalf? There okay. are a lot of pairs voting there. Mm. Chef, too. Mm. Okay, I'm still waiting to get in contact love with it. an Undertaker, but I would love for an Undertaker to see what Ed is made of. Please, can somebody nominate Ed? I'll nominate Ed. I'll nominate Ed. Okay, well. Aggie in there first. Aggie, tell us why I've nominated Ed. For a potential Undertaker check, maybe, and also Virgin not working. Suspicious. Ed? Cool, kill me. Um, this was always going to happen. I said, like, I said this to, to Adam when you all abandoned us in the town square because no one was going to trust either of us. We, one of us was going to ex get executed today. This is why. Have at. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a real struggle. Do I vote on Ed to save Jack or do I let Jack go? Like, <laughs> I'm letting Jack go. This is a really heavy lift. This is a really heavy really lift. Really 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 Six is a tie. Ed, please, Plus thank seven. you. 
Oh. Seven is oh. enough. Ed on the block. Jack Look at the budget like saving you, Jack. Patrick, please. Okay, Jack, tell us why you've nominated Patrick. So, big brain play. Patrick can't keep nominating me every day if he's dead. So. <laughs> 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 okay, Patrick. I really don't want to do this, but if I'm dead, if I'm dead, you won't get to nominate Jack again. Also, also, if Adam's the Baron, then this is Chef Pear. Go. Is that a subtle saint claim, Pear? Perhaps. <laughs> How do you have to stop being subtle about being saint? <laughs> no, so we've currently got seven on Ed's. No, seven I'm going to update be... this. <laughs> seven. All right. <laughs> So, so, so what, e e Evie, Nikki, Adam are, are Chef 3, yeah? Are chef 2 with 3 people? There we go, cool. Ed's still on the block, final call. Oh. 3, 2, 1. Ed is executed and dies. The game, of course, continues. Everyone goes to cottage. Of course it does. Of course it does. Wow. <laughs> I mean, if, we, if we'd have lost both Nikki and Jack, then that would have been amazing. I mean, amazingly bad. For the good team, of course. But uh, it's amazing nonetheless. Everything okay with aiming it? Oh, yeah, there we go, we're good. <clears throat> wow, this move here bot's being really slow today. Whee! Just... Why is it going so slowly? I just. Moverbot is having a conniption. I did, I did, I did execute at that time. Yeah, it looks like it's just about getting there. Yeah. Oh my god! Come on, move here, bot. Why are you, why are you so slow, geriatric bot? Yeah, I know. It's, it's freaking <laughs> out. Okay. Also, <clears throat> back in there, it was all it was evil team plus recluse in the uh, in the town square. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, like that. For a second there, it looked like Jack was going to die. That would have been hilarious. I know. We um, all saw Packet nominated and got excited, but oh, it was very yeah, unlikely. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was really hoping that would go through. I was really hoping that Aggie would be like, you're not being subtle enough. I think we should just kill him and teach him a lesson or something like that. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to Actually, Nikki, Nikki and, and Simon are still not in bed. Let me just... Yeah, I'll Hold on. I'll I got Simon. I'm just going to pop him in a cottage. Go, Oops. I started to drag the coal clubhouse. That's not good. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, let's go see who Chris picks. Oh, I hope it's a good one. Christopher Robin. Who would you like to poison? Ooh. I'm just firing at random now. Um, yeah, let's you, go you, for you, Aggie you, today. Uh, Mike's all weird and tingly. But, so you might want to reconnect when we go back in. But yes, Aggie it is. Oh, okay, Aggie. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, moving on. Hello. Hello, Duke. Green um, Amy, question: Are you acting as a co-storyteller? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if if a pixie were to have said that they're the pixie in front of you, that would be. I would, would have snitched. I see. All right. Uh, I just didn't know if you were just observing or or that. So. If That's I was cool. just observing, I probably would have had. I, I Grimian intends that I am. I am an assistant. Got it. Understood. Um. Let's see. Well. Huh. Nikki totally just got to the right conclusion for the wrong reasons. And I hate how he always does that. And he's just going to hone in on it now, no matter what. <laughs> so what's Which the plan? is the worst <laughs> thing of killing Nikki early, is that he tells some one person his real role, and then he just expects them to be evil. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, someone please clip this. Please clip this. Because in our private games, every time Nikki does this, I'm just going to play it to him. <laughs> I think Ben said this on the night that you killed Nikki. Probably. Like, just I mean, generically. It's just, it's just classic Nikki, is what it is. I mean, I love the guy. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Alright, but, but yeah. you have to do a murder now, so what's, what's up? Yeah, I want to murder Jack so that Hazel can get a read, a, a quote-unquote empath read on Patrick. 
being the saint. Uh, and that would be interesting. Because uh, Evie also is claiming that sort of hardly. Uh, but I think if I kill Jack, then Town is going to kill Hazel anyways. Uh, I mean, so I'm going to kill Jack, Aggie. See how Jack's that goes. always evil, right? So it's handy to have him around when you're an evil player. Exactly. But there's so also to the confirm you're killing thing. Aggie? Yep, Aggie's your choice. Yeah, Aggie's fine. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, thank you. No worries. Yeah. Ah, well, it's a real, it's a real shame there that we're not going to get to show Aggie poisoned fortune teller info. But I think that was no. a good kill for Duke, definitely. Uh, Evie, it on the other good. hand, is it about is to get good. a second piece of legit info as the Undertaker. Oh yeah, she's she's going to be learning about the Baron. Yeah, which is going to this is going to be confusing for Cat. Uh, it's going to make... Uh, do, you know what I, do you know what conclusion I think people will draw? I think people will draw the conclusion that both Ed and Cat are evil, and this was part of Ooh. some complex double bluff that they were doing. That's what, To be honest, that's what I'd probably think was going on. Um, but yeah. Let's, the only let's... downside for that is that both of them are dead. Um, yeah, but, I guess. But you but, never know. Yeah, you do never know. And to be honest with you, getting yourself killed as evil quite early is... I don't know, maybe it's not so common in the Aussie streams, but in the UK we do it quite a bit. Um, it's it's uh it's uh it was a common for a while and then it rotated out of the meta because people did it too often, so it might be time for a comeback. It'd be I don't yeah, know. time for time for a suicide comeback. Uh, let's go let's go see Evie. Evie, you're still alive? How do you feel? Um, very shocked. Yeah. Maybe well. there are other priorities for the spy. Should we have one? <laughs> well, quite. Um, but I mean, you know, it could be that there is no spy, or that the spy doesn't want to seem like a spy. You mm -hmm. never know these things. Well, maybe but, you're just not. Maybe you're just not very interesting as a target. Yeah, yeah there is that. Um, so, Evie, uh, yesterday we executed Ed. You awake and learn that Ed was in fact the Baron. Well, well, well. Well, 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 indeed. Mm. <laughs> the, the Marge Simpson noise just reeks of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you to it. Poison. All right. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that's everything, right? I don't think we missed anyone. We still got Jay sitting very quietly as Raven Keeper, but I, I think that there's a chance he'll get accused of being evil at some point if he doesn't uh, be a little more proactive. Yeah, I think so. so oh, it's always the Simon curse of being Raven Keeper, though, isn't it? That? Yeah. Uh, Simon came clean as recluse to Evie, I think, um, and they're doing some kind of complicated play up there. Deviant came out as chef, uh, if only in the text chat. I don't know how many people saw that, though. Um, this is this is interesting, because um, I think it really depends on how Duke, how well Duke pulls off his bluff, because Hazel is just soaking up so much suspicion right now, and if she understands that, and she understands that she's probably not going to take a star pass well, or she can, she can get them to waste days on people on herself and people she's associated with. If she can get Jack killed along with her, like that's the best thing she can do. Although I will admit my heart stopped when Duke said he was gonna kill Jack. I was like, no! Yeah, we had yeah. player options good. to take both of them from it. <laughs> what is Duke bluffing as, Butler? Um, I I think he's kind of bluffing as all three. I heard him say that I, I dropped in a conversation at some point and he was saying, Oh, you know, if I'm the washwoman, I knew this. And if I'm this, I knew this. Like, I didn't get the specific names because I only sort of popped in for a second and then you had to be right back. So I had to come drag you around. But um, it sound, I think he's hedging his bets until he and, and like either hoping for a, a Hail Mary washwoman hit or like he's going to come out of something else at some point. <laughs> We've got a comment in chat from uh, Knowles that seems like evil is running away with this game. Oh, wait no. two or three days. <laughs> like, trust me, yeah. just wait two or three days and see how you see people they've, feel they've, that way. They've lost an evil player, and while losing your Baron's not the worst thing in the world, that's like one vote that, That's one vote for the rest of the game. Yeah. There's still a lot of strong players in play. Evie's gotten two bits of good information. Aggie got two bits of good information before she was killed. Uh, and they, 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 they don't currently know the outside account, but once that gets confirmed, oof. Right, we are going to have to pick up the pace because there's a lot of Brits in this game and it's 11 o'clock on a Thursday night. So let's get All right. to Town Square. Uh, hello, good morning everybody. Uh, there has been a death and it was Aggie. Ooh. Hmm. We're going to pick up the pace a bit because this game's going uh, quite slow. Uh, so we're going to say uh, probably about four or five minutes and then we're going to open nominations. Hey right. Chris. 
Ed, would you like, like to compare? Be, let's talk. Sure, cat. Hazel. Yeah. I'm not saying no. I won't be. Um, I'm just going to choose to place all my trust in you, and if you're evil, then um, hmm. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that you'll hard claim to me as well. I will hard claim to you. I'm I, I lied to you that you're the undertaker. You lied. <laughs> <laughs> the game was Don't add flabbergasted when you do the same. Cool, um, I'm actually the butler. What? Oh no. <laughs> so we do have a baron in this game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, assuming me and Pat are the outsiders with a drunk out there somewhere. The thing is, Simon's also claimed outsider to me. Ooh. I'm guessing the recluse? Yep. So, um, yeah, bit of a conundrum. There should be here. no drunk then. There should be no drunk. So, have you seen the drunk? So on day, so on the first night, I saw Katz as the investigator. On the second night, I saw Ed as the Baron. Baron, Ed as the Baron. That's what I saw. So, so Kat saw Jack and Adam as the Baron. Yeah, that's why I was sort of asking in chat, being like, "So who were the pings?" So, we need to figure out what's going on with this information. Um, I'm alive, so um, maybe maybe I'm drunk and one of the outsiders is lying. Maybe um, a spy poisoned. Yep, spy poisoned. Spy yeah, poisoned. <laughs> spy poisoned. Um, which is why I'm still alive. Um, in which case, if I am spy poisoned, then it hopefully frees things up for... Because Kat could be the drunk... Which is why she didn't die to nominate the Virgin, and then Ed could be the Virgin, but Ben thought it'd be funny to show him as the Baron. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't put it past you, Ben. <laughs> 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 so yeah, those are options. Um, or I could be legit, which hmm. <laughs> little uh, bit. Oh uh, yeah, could be. I could be legit since it now sounds like we do have three outsiders. You could be one of Deviant's evil pairs. I could be one of his evil pairs, um, but I can assure you that I'm not. No, cool. And but I'm sure everyone can say that. that. Thing is, if <laughs> Ed is the Baron, then um, he spoke to Pat on day one, and I didn't catch who else he spoke to. Oh, he spoke to Aggie. That. So Duke has some sus in Aggie, and I'm not sure where it comes from. Okay. So in the chat yesterday, he said, uh, "I'm suspicious of Aggie. Um, she feels a bit evil." And so I said, well, Aggie spoke to Kat, Simon, and Hazel on day one, and then Nikki suddenly has Sus and Hazel, so... Straight up truth. I okay. am on You don't want to kill me today. Okay. Um, I... Okay. Do you not want to claim off me? Or do you, oh, do you want to uh, run this? I... Sure, Jack. You're, you're... It sounds like you're a person claiming an ability that you don't want to use on day one, but it sounds like you have an ability you want to use... So that narrowed it down for me pretty quickly, Jack, but if you want to tell me. Um, go on then. I am the Slayer. You and Nikki know this. Alright. Um, Cat, apparently, there's a potential Cat was seen as the drunk by the investigator, uh, not investigator, Undertaker. Okay. Um, with Ed as the Virgin, which puts more credit on your claim. So we'll okay. see how this transpires in a, a, a day or two. That's interesting. I was suspecting Cat was the spy, to be honest, but that's interesting. All right. Could still be the spy who's registered as a drunk. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they're saying that they. That, who's the? Oh man, I'd love to know who the Undertaker is. That there's protecting. It, it was. It was claimed in a three, and we went through information, and that's one of the sets of information. Fair enough. All right. Sounds good. Cheers. Cool. See you in a bit. Okay, well, that's that's what they have. Okay, good to know. I'm going to head back. Alright, cool. I'm going to do that. Alright, right, okay, please don't be evil. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to, to do much about that at this point. Like, we're not in an alignment switching game, so no, I can't I choose know. that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not asking for a choice, God. it's just a general prayer. Okay, see prayer. you later. On the bright side, you were next to an empath, so all good, good around. So do you want to claim a role? 
Uh, well, in, in theory, but she's apparently still getting a zero, so it's not getting us closer to any evil people, apparently. Okay, but, hear me out, if all three of us are, if all four of us are good, then that puts the demon on the top half of the circle. Okay. So, would you like to claim a roll? Okay, well, I'm not getting up, am I? Uh, I'm the fortune teller. Oh, what was your information? I didn't get any yeses, I only got noes. Please tell me you got a no on me. Yeah, I did get a no on you. Boom. Love it. Um, that probably just means you're a minion. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not get down this route. Let's just <laughs> pretend like this is me being confirmed through Fortune. T no, Jay, I see what he's just put. Uh, his foot. <laughs> uh, what the f oh, Simeon. Might be useful. Why? Uh, so I believe I might be sat next to an empath, and as the recluse, you might be obstructing their information. Welcome right, back, okay. everyone. Nominations are open. Or we could uh, just kill Adam. Okay, if that's a better choice, then yeah. I mean, I don't understand why Simon wants to nominate a tin. Wait. No, don't do that. Thank you, Ted. Um, if someone wants to shoot me, then they are welcome to. I am the recluse. Um, I thought Deviant shot already. Well, uh, wait, a, a ton of people have claimed to be easy. Slayer. Uh, I don't think did. no one's... Right, let's execute Jack. I'm sorry, but... I nominate Jack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all that was required. <laughs> okay. Patrick, say your At case. no point did that go through his brain. That was straight <laughs> from ear to mouth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, <laughs> same, same as the last two days, plus Nikki wants him dead, plus it's Jack, plus everything else. I really shouldn't need to, uh, to justify this anymore. Come on, people. Do what's can right. You, can I add some personal info after Jack's defended himself? Sure, Jack. Is, is, it, is it to my benefit or against yes. my... Okay, yep. <laughs> um, so, I have been confirmed by about three or four different sources at this point. Spy. So, um, either I am the spy in a barren uh, investigate ping, which is just hell hella cruel on the evil team, or I'm good and we should not kill me. So let's choose option two and not think about it too much. I'm very sure it's a spy game. Okay, in spite of Jack being Jack, um, Adam hard claimed town role to me on day one and has apparently uh, claimed an outsider role to Ed. So okay. I'd like to square that circle with a death. Okay, so, gonna, we are going to vote on Jack. Five votes required. Here we go. So, Adam has claimed my role, a role that's been confirmed by a washerwoman and a potential other outsider. So he's probably a minion without a bluff. Probably the Baron, right? But Jack is still defiantly not wanting to die, so let's kill Jack. Didn't Jack say the washerwoman confirmed him? Uh, no. no that, that, was a, that was a lie. That Four was a is lie. not enough. Four is not Come enough. people. Jack survives. Do we have any other nominations? Oh my god. Uh, Simon nominates Duke. Simon. Simon um, nominates Simon. Oh. Sorry, Duke, you were just a little too late there. Simon, tell us why you've nominated that dashing fella, Simon. Uh, well, if you all uh, believe that I am an extremely trustworthy and you are willing to commit right now that you will always believe that I am the most trustworthy player here and I am 100% good and you should not vote for this. Otherwise, I have a feeling that I'm just going to be a liability. You're going to want to execute me at some point. Uh, I am the recluse. Uh, kill me if you want. It's your choice. Pertinent information. Is your pertinent information that that was actually one of the riddles that Bilbo Baggins told Smeagol? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, we have a Baron claim. I have heard of no other outsider other than Simon. I've that makes me one. trust Simon, claiming recluse. I have heard of three. You Have you? Yeah. Okay. Three. okay. Um, if Simon's recluse, we have a chef too. We want to be looking at Simon's neighbors as well. So that, that's my pertinent information. Okay. Evie, have you heard of the butler? Not required. Um, yes. So, so, Kat. I mean, she said she's heard of three, which does... Kind of. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. She could have. She could have spoken to a librarian or an undertaker. 
So, Cat, Cat, if Kat. you believe yeah. that you or Ed were drunk, that gives us one. Yeah. Simon is two, and I am the All third. All poisoned, one. essentially. And I am the third one. Okay. If you, yeah. You, which poisoner wouldn't poison Ed on night one? I I don't want this to go through. I don't want. To I wouldn't poison me on night one. Um, Duke well, yeah. again would like to nominate Adam for death. Duke, tell us why you've chosen Adam. Um, yeah, Pat was was saying this earlier. Then Simon was willing to fall on the sword. Simon's been reading pretty good to me. Um, I mean, or just like as the recluse that just like, you know, existence is pain. Um, and Adam oh. is a likely baron. Is my thought. So yeah. Adam. So I have been told that Cat has been seen as the drunk, which means the Baron ping on me is absolutely rubbish. But I believe more likely Cat is actually the spy and is pointing at me, the saint, as uh, as the Baron to try and get me killed. Hundred percent, that's what I believe right now, guys. Do not vote for this. Uh, that's a double claim. Wait, you're yeah, uh, that's a solid, solid double saint. claim on saint. I don't, I don't care that it's a double claim, guys. You're... I am telling you, I'm the saint. I will happily nominate the other person who is also claiming my role. But I am telling you, do not kill me. Like, do you say you'd heard over. from an Undertaker? I don't um, know. No, I haven't heard from an Undertaker. I've heard from another player who's told me that the Undertaker has seen Cat as who? the drunk. Right. Mm. So, <clears throat> why did you claim mayor for me on day one? You should kill Adam. Do feel free to yeah, yeah, this is a, this is Always a, kill Saints. Did somebody say. Can we not tie it? No. Yeah, let's not tie it. So, he's. He, this is a oh, triple claim, no. technically. Six votes is enough. Adam on the block. So I will vote to kill Evie. So yeah, guys, just, just so everyone's clear, I am the mayor. Just kill me today because at this point I didn't come out to anyone else because there's never as the mayor should come out to too many people because that's when the storyteller starts to feel like it's safe to kill you. Cat, I don't know why you would out me and and, and have any suspicion because on the back that I'm telling sense. you. I, I wasn't claiming saint to you. I told you I'm the mayor because I knew if I told you saint, you would never believe me, right? Like, at least if I told you my true role, you, there was a, maybe a chance somewhere in this world you would believe me, Cat, but that never happens. So well, let's just give me a moment. Well, if you hadn't been my investigator, Peng. Final uh, Adam, why wouldn't you believe me? Four nominations. Me? Why wouldn't you trust me? Jay, right? Jay nominates Jay. Okay, Jay, tell us why you've nominated yourself. Uh, Adam is my demon... Don't kill him, please. Seven <laughs> <laughs> <Brilliant. Super> required. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, Adam, why wouldn't you... Oh, do I register as evil? Evil, no. evil team, rise up. Evil team, rise up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm very confused. Just imagine the poor confused viewer who stumbles across our YouTube channel <laughs> and just witnesses this. <laughs> Hazel nominates Hazel. Okay, Hazel, tell us why you've nominated yourself. Adam is my demon and I'm the Scarlet Woman and I don't want the to receive the pass. <laughs> Save <Okay>. Adam. <laughs> Here we go. Well, guys, when I said earlier on that we need to pick the pace up, I just really appreciate you all taking that on board. <laughs> I have a feeling you could have put this to half-second nominations, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late now. We've already started. Uh, so, um, six on Adam. Bringing the day to a close in three, two, one. I really thought Adam I had a chance as mayor to win this. executed and dies. <laughs> And the game continues. Time to Oh, look at that. Amy's on top of it. Straight in there. That's what I like to see. Uh, oh, yeah, the movie robot's behaving itself again. Uh, so, I, yeah. yesterday, uh, Evie came out to um, Chris as I sat the Undertaker. And it moved me. <laughs> yeah, Evie's told Chris that she's the Undertaker. So I think... I you know uh, yeah, who oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I I reckon uh if if Evie's poisoned, we show Adam as the actual imp. Ooh, that's that interesting. Yeah, see how that goes down. Uh but first of all, I kind of like that. Poisons. Yeah. Okay, Chris. Ooh. I've got an idea of <laughs> so who might be. Please come out to me as the undertaker, which <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I feel really bad about unless she's playing me somehow. But I've got to poison her. Um, that yeah, Evie, okay. please. Evie, it is. Thank you. Thanks. 
All right, moving on. All right. Hi, Duke. Hello. I think this is going swimmingly, if you ask me. But I could be wrong. <laughs> well, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but I can let you kill someone. Maybe. If this goes, if this goes too well again, I'm just going to be meta murdered first day, even before Dak, every time. Hopefully not. Um, well, it's Deviant or Jack, so <laughs> we'll go with Deviant, I guess. I don't know. Okay, Deviant. Right. Yes. Thank you very much. I just hope Jack isn't the Undertaker. Then this is like just it'll be sad, but that's fine. Oh. Okay, it's okay. Thank you, Duke. Oh, yeah. Good mm -hmm. luck. Thanks. <laughs> Moving on. Hello, Evie. Okay, this is weird now. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you awake and learn that yesterday you executed Adam, the imp. Ooh. Very interesting. Yes. I'm glad you think so. Uh, and we'll let you steal on that. Right. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. It is. It is. I, I, I'm really curious to see how this goes now because, uh, I mean, like Hazel just kind of avoided notice all that day. It felt like to me. Yeah. I think I was just away from the computer. <laughs> and um, with hindsight, like, you know, we probably should have shown uh, Evie the Baron to reinforce Cat's investigating <laughs> thing on him. But hey, but that definitely would have that definitely would have introduced the concept of poison into the game because. Or it would have made her start to think about being a drunk. I I think Imp was a good play here. I think it's interesting, and I think that uh, Adam is going to be on the back foot for the rest of the game because of it. Yeah. I'm also really happy that Duke is the Jack is so suspicious that Duke isn't touching him because I feel yeah. like this could get to a final day Slayer, yeah, and I've I've never seen that happen on stream. So the big question is: if Jack slays Simon, are we going to have him register as the demon and die? <sighs> At this point in time, I'm kind of thinking no. Yeah, I think no, because not only would that that would that would uh, confirm Jack, which would also confirm Nikki, which I think yeah. is, a, is a bit too much. And, and that that creates a that creates a big that, that creates like a big kind of circle of trust. Um, also, Simon getting confirmed at this juncture as something that can die, like that's going to back up his recluse thing, which is going to make if Duke is going for Butler, which I think he is, I'm not 100 percent sure. Chris I mean, like, if... Two. Oh, boy. To Eevee. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can see I can see Evil's game falling apart a bit here, because I think Duke's bluff isn't strong enough. Yeah. And his star pass, and his star pass to Hazel is not going to be very strong if they turn on her again. Yeah. Um, she's managed to kind of duck for now, but I don't think she's out of the picture. So it's going to be really interesting seeing how this goes. I think if they can get Hazel killed and pass it over to Chris, I feel like Chris could carry the game. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely the strongest contender for being good on the evil team right now. Yes. But uh, it's going to become, like, like as, as things narrow down, like, they're either going to have to throw Pat under the bus, which is going to be hard because Pat's going to fight it. Uh, Jack, who's going to shoot someone if he does. Uh, Evie, who, well, the longer they have Evie alive, the more they can be like, hang on a second, Undertaker's been alive for a while. I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's see how it plays out. I think they'll Jack today. I, I will be surprised if they don't. If Jack lives another day, that's going to be absurd and yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody uh, who died. Oh, Deviant died in the night. Huh. Huh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, He Man. Right, you've got four uh, minutes. Right. Chris, Nikki, Duke. Let's go. Yeah. Sure. it is. No. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Gonna, I'm, I'm very confused. It sounds like there's... I'm just going to hard claim to you guys because um, I feel like I'm being poisoned. I'm the Undertaker. Um, on oh, I day thought one, you were a soldier. Well, yeah, I've been lying to a lot of people. So on day one, I saw Cat oh as the investigator. Day two, I saw Ed as the Baron. And last night, I saw Adam as the Imp. Hmm. So, um, but Adam's been seen by... As a as a minion, right? Exactly. So what so, if you're just being poisoned every day? I'm probably right? being poisoned like, every day. 
Or the drunk. Or the drunk. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure there's a spy in the game. Oh, um, yeah. So yeah, it sounds it's true. like. You could just be the drunk. So I thought I'd out to you guys because I heard a conversation, yes, well, something was said in public chat yesterday where um, somebody said another Undertaker had told. Yeah, Ivan. that was Adam, seemed to suggest the Undertaker yeah. being I think, as I drunk. Think between, yeah. I think between Adam and Ed, with you getting two negative reads or two evil reads, I think we have at least one yeah, down, definitely. right? So, um, yeah. Chris, um, you I'm, yeah, I'm the butler. Okay. And you... Nikki, you're not gonna like this. You're not. Okay. I am Washwoman, confirming empath being Hazel. Interesting. Who I'm sorry. is your who's your other ping? Uh Chris West. Oh. Yeah. How did you... I didn't get a chance to talk to Chris on the first day, so we talked to I talked to Chris on the second, day, second day, I think. How did your conversation yeah. with Hazel uh, go, and do you think she could be the spy? She could be the spy. Um, I mean, I went up to her and I said, hey, can we exchange twos? Because um, that's like what I normally do. And then um, she went first, and she said empath, or I think, I think monk, maybe. Um, and then I said, I'm either washerman who has seen you as a thing or investigator that has seen you as a thing um and okay. you are the empath um and that's how that went what uh does anybody know what jay is claiming no idea no, no he idea, so. said he's been hinting at like chef i think right i mean he's been saying he's that like pseudo and chef. claiming chef oh i see okay so the issue is why kill so they're trying to make it look like a non-spy game if there is the spy in the game. Do we know what Aggie was? Yes. I have no okay. idea what Aggie was. I, I, I assumed I, Jay was the, was that. And I assumed that Deviant was the Slayer that shot Evie. Adam and me are the entire evil team. To work with the chef information in which the spy registers as evil. So I'm basically good and you sh everyone should trust me. Is the point I'm getting to. No, no. That evil thing could still work. Aggie, please, please don't do this. Don't. That's that's an entirely convoluted evil team. That involves Hazel my, also. Do you remember it, the last time I told you I checked you so many times that I actually could trust you, and you were like, "Oh, that's not actually true." What? Well, this this <laughs> this plan revolves on Hazel implicitly being the imp, and therefore you can we, you you could execute Hazel today. Well, you know, and, she she kept me alive for a while, and then she killed me. That checks out. So what happens is, him. Interesting, a bit of information is I have to be the spy in this scenario. So if you execute Hazel and the game doesn't end, I cannot be evil and therefore very good trusted player. Very You're good like... trusted player. <laughs> 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 it just sounds like you just you haven't quite got a grasp on the English language. How long you've been living in England, Jack? <laughs> like six months. Oh yes, me very good. Uh, trusted player, top man. <laughs> I I one hundred trust. Very innocent. Very one hundred percent trusted. Very you good. Sound like, you sound like Donald Trump. <laughs> I know words, and I have the best words. The best trusted player. Yeah. The yeah. best I word. Bigly trust. No one is as trusted as me. <laughs> No one knows more about being trusted than me. I will be the mostly trusted player, <laughs> given the, the scenarios. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, what you, sh what you should now. do... Get ready for movie ears. Oh my god, See, I, right. didn't, I was yeah, looking at my I didn't... I have to say, I didn't read Cat as spy. I still not confirm you. <laughs> oh, sorry, Welcome Ed. Welcome back, too late. chatters. But it is that time oh. again where we nom noms, so nominate, uh, please. Right. Uh, uh, just Pat, that group, Pat, just before we thing? do anything else, that group, by the way, uh, the fact that you've spoken by yourselves the entire day makes us think that you are the evil team. So I'll give you that fair warning before you try and nominate anyone and expect anyone else to go with it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess only one of us were dead, huh? It will, don't worry. Okay. Alright, Simon nominates Evie. Okay, Simon, tell us why you have nominated Evie. Uh, so, apparently there's Chef 2 from a player who is now dead. Uh, I am the recluse. 
uh, it could be three evils in a row, or the much more likely solution is that um, the recluse registered as evil next to another evil player, therefore evil e Evie is an evil player. Um, her claim, I don't believe, is going to be very credible going forward. I think she's one of the best kills to, for today. Perhaps I shouldn't have nominated her first because, you know, maybe if, if she was nominated later in the day, people would believe this more. But yeah, I, I feel this is a good kill. Apparently people trust me. I'm very pleased that people trust me. They can again execute me today if they think I'm evil. But yeah, this is a good one in my, in my view. Okay. Evie. Um, there are a few people who know my real claim. Um, I have lied to you, Simon, um, in both of our conversations, which I admit does make me look very suspicious. I feel like I do still have some value that I can bring to town, but if there is a lot of sus in me, then I'm happy to die today. Okay. Four votes required. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to say she's claimed two separate roles to me. Apparently, she's now claiming a third. I find that a bit sus. Hey, I'm okay with what she's claimed. Uh, and I don't... I, I, I still think that Jack is the executor. Four is enough. Yeah. Nikki, I bearing in mind, Jack. in this context with a chef too, you are also evil, most likely, with Evie. <laughs> if that I is the case, Jack. Nikki and I did not speak until today. Patrick, uh, nominate uh, Jack. Pat, state your case, please. And round and round it goes. It was a hard lift. We should kill. If, we, <laughs> if we're going to kill him, we should kill him today. Because really, you, you, you're all setting yourselves up for whatever's going to happen by leaving Jack alive. Okay, Jack. Five thousand. And you're dragging me with you. <clears throat> Once Jack's given um, his defence, you absolutely can. I think that we have an execution for today, and I think we shouldn't execute me. And Nikki agrees with me, and that we should just run the no, boat. No, I now. don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 well, Nikki, you don't need to thing. give you any information, right? Jack's giving it for you. You agree with him? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then, Nikki. Okay. Jack is so so evil. It is laughable. Okay. Uh, so just just to point out, okay, Ed, if I am evil and Jack is good, okay, I cold called Jack's role on day one, okay. So I must be the spy, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like that, so that, let's talk about that conversation. How? Yeah. How? How did you cold call his role? That's pixie. Uh, I, I I claimed to be the Slayer and Jack was like, no, you're not. I'm the Slayer. I was like, I'm the Slayer. Um. um. Is, oh. But the, the, the thing about this is that Jack, Jack has been an outed slayer now for a couple of days, okay? Jack is refusing to slay a shoot despite the fact that he is an outed slayer. Uh, and despite the fact that um, dead people think that it's possibly a, um, a, a spy game. So why is Jack refusing to slay a shoot? Jack, you're welcome to respond to that if you wish. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with the conversation. Uh, I then called Nikki out as being not that role, which means I am either the actual Slayer or the Spy. Um, and I have been seen in an Investigator ping, and it's incredibly cruel to show two minions in an Investigator ping. Um, so that's unlikely to happen. So let's let's not pose that and just think I'm good. Unless Secondly, I'm drunk. Well, it's even crueler to show actual minions to a drunk investigator because that's just legit info with a slightly wrong mask on it. Uh, also, no good demon is going to kill me because I have been executed and nearly nearly executed every single day. So, that's my answer. Just want to point out that most of Jack's argument is based on the premise that I am not cruel. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I approve. Um, <laughs> five votes required because we got four on Simon. Four on on Evie. Yeah, so we're yeah, on Evie. Evie. Evie also, Simon, it's been such a hard lift. This is a really hard lift. It's, it's, it's not a hard yeah, lift because um, I'm good. Can I suggest that we would... look to the butler claim because if I have been seen by an undertaker as a drunk, one of the other outsiders is probably bluffing. So, um, since I'm currently on the block, I'm happy to come out with my role. Um, I am the Undertaker, I saw Kat as the Investigator, I saw Ed as the Baron, I saw Adam as the um, 
um, whoever else is hard claiming investigate um, sorry whoever else is hard claiming undertaker um, they need to die you guys can kill me today but they they need to die tomorrow Unfortunately, my info came from Jack. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> In okay. that case. Two things. You can't execute me today. Secondly, <laughs> um, <laughs> it, was, it came from a three for three where we went through if they were each roll, what their information would have been. So Ryan it's not a hard thing. Alive. <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. kill. Uh, uh, I hear. Jay. 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 Jay nominates Jay. Jay nominates Jay, nominate Jay. 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 Tell us why you've nominated yourself. Um, Adam actually wasn't my demon. Evie is the demon. Please don't kill Evie. <laughs> kill me instead. Okay, we've got four. Four on Evie? Is it four? No, it's five. Yeah. It's five. five, right? No, it's four. It's four we've no, got it's four, four on Evie, so five required if you're to execute Jay. Here we go. Jay, if you're the demon and you're just trolling us every day, <laughs> every Jay. No, every no, let's not vote for this. Patrick, oh can you do this, perhaps? Uh, we, need, we need to not tie this. We need to not tie this. Yeah, Hazel, Jay, put it down. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't that happen? No, Hazel, you shouldn't have let Jay bully you into minion panic. If Jay is a minion... Jay is not a minion. That is crazy suspicious. All right, That is crazy suspicious. Everybody, you can type in all caps at night, but do we have any other nominations? Well, we need to execute Evie tomorrow. 100%. Bring in the day to a yep. close then. In three, two, one. Mm. Jay is executed and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to cottages. Oh, no. I'm going to move Cat to a different cottage. Are you just going to leave Nikki and me in the same town square? Uh, best best practice is to jump down into a cottage before you do move here, just so that we can use the top cottage. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I normally just sort of pick whichever cottage is the left. <laughs> All right, um, so good is good is kind of buggered. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost tempted but, now if Jack does slay Simon okay. to have him die. I would I would change it around, yeah, because Jack, then Jack's a confirmed Slayer. Jack needs that. Um, this does assume that Duke doesn't kill him. In Duke's yeah. position, I would leave Jack alive for the for the for the sake of the fact that he's much funnier alive than he is dead. He can but afford to leave Duke... him alive as well right now because if Duke gets slayed tomorrow, Hazel will become the imp. Mm. So I, I think that I think he can afford to leave him alive for now. Yeah. I think uh, what are we going to show Jay as? Uh, well, if Jay if if Evie is poisoned, I think we'll show Jay as. I think we'll show Evie the truth actually. I think we'll show Evie that Jay's the Raven Keeper. I kind of agree. The good team is really backed into a corner here. Yeah. Their, their accusations are on two good players. Um, to be honest, showing Evie the truth is probably going to make her come off as more suspicious. But that's kind of interesting. But, not but let's to see Jay. what Chris is going to do. Not to Jay. Yeah. Which, you're, which, you're, which is crucial. Because um, at the moment, Evie's yeah. the only person in this game who's got legit info. And she just needs to come up with a worldview where most of her information is good. <laughs> so we'll, we'll I see know. Let's see what Chris does. Yeah, let's see what Chris does. All right, Chris, who's it gonna hey. be? It's gonna be Jack tonight. I thought you might say that. Yeah, I gotta keep that. I assume he's not gonna die because he's under so much sus. So gotta keep him poisoned. Okay. I'm with you, All right. Evie tonight to set her up for a star pass. But yeah, I guess I'll see. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Let's see if you're in sync. Hello, Duke. Hello. So, what do you think? Jack thinking? hasn't done a Slayer shot. Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny that. I know, he hasn't. This is fine. You don't have to confirm or deny. <laughs> I feel like him is the smart move, but there's no evidence of who the drunk is, so I might just want to wage hedge my. Well, no, because it has to be Deviant, because there's. Yeah, Deviant's drunk. Never mind. Um, hmm. I mean, while I want to kill Jack. Now yeah, I, I feel mean, like it's, it's a it's a real risk reward situation here, isn't it? Because at the moment, yeah, I think I don't think I it's think particularly it's a... breaking the game for me to say he's the most suspicious person in the room. No, yeah, certainly like... not. But he still has a player shot. Like I feel like if he's on the block tomorrow and he actually does it, he's going to shoot someone, and that someone could be me. I mean, I still have Hazel to fall back on, but Hazel seems to be doing okay. So um, I'm going to kill. 
Simon, I think. Simon, yeah. Simon it is. Thank you. And just and just count on Chris poisoning Evie forever. All right. Thanks okay. Steve. We'll see. Later. Right. Moving on. Hi, Evie. <laughs> Still alive. Still alive. Uh, so you awake and learn that Executor Jay was in fact the Raven Keeper. Executing Jay. Executed Jay. Why? <sighs> what is going on here? I am so Jay, sorry. who is executed, is the Raven Keeper. Oh dear. Yes. Jay, who yesterday was executed, was in fact <laughs> the Raven Keeper. Oh, was he? Exactly. Chat would, chat would like to let you know that they love you. Oh, thank you, chat. I love you all too. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thanks, Evie. <clears throat> wow, I am really surprised. Uh, that Duke didn't jump that's on the opportunity to make Evie look like she star passed. Well, uh, that that was definitely Chris's plan. Duke, uh, nearly killed Jack and then just, yeah, so at the last second. But now both Evie and Jack are alive. Evie's gotten Trivo and Jay, who, as far as I can tell, hasn't really come out to anyone. Yeah, which is either going to make Evie look spy or good. Um, I, this is going to be interesting. Oh, if Jay just st stands up tomorrow and is like, Evie, tell me what I was. That would be huge, and and also yeah. I would really like to see Jack shoot Duke. Even though I kind of want the goodies to get back into it, I really just want to see that happen right now because it's so funny yeah. watching Nikki just. It would be so funny. <laughs> someone, uh, someone just posted, "Come on, Jack, I've got three K on good." Shortly followed by, "He's poisoned, dude." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a game. <laughs> Let's do it. That money. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning! Uh, Simon died in the night. Oh, brilliant. My star pass went through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you've got Maybe till you 5 past. Open it up and ask to choose a player who you chose yourself. You have until 45 minutes past the hour, then we will open nominations. Hey, Jay, can we have a chat, please? Ed, do you want that chat? I would quite like to chat with Jay as okay. well. Can we okay. join that I, chat? Yeah, Aggie, yeah, you can join. Jack, Aggie and Jack, you want to... Um, Jay, Duke, I... get out. Get out. You get out. I mean, I asked Evie to join. Um, I don't. I trust. Yeah, Duke. Um, if if Jay doesn't want Duke here, then sorry, Duke. We can chat. All right, well, later, Jay. Um, I saw you as the Raven Keeper. That is correct. Oh. Um. Okay. Um, if you're the Raven Keeper, why did you, why did you, um, why did you sacrifice yourself to save me? I appreciate the gesture, um, but that's only really brought me one day. Town's going to kill me today. Well, my thought process was, I think it's a spy game. You could be the spy, or you could be the Undertaker. If it's a spy game, the Raven Keeper is never going to die. It's probably a better sacrifice than an actual Undertaker. Okay, well, I really appreciate it. It brings tears to my eyes. Um, and But I would have thought that you would die last night because out at Undertaker this, should die. If you end with, up being in the final three, that's going to look even more sus. With this much sus in me, um, the demon's not going to kill me at nighttime now, sadly. So um, we're at what, two, four? We're at final six now. So today's probably my day out. But um, if I do go out, I would quite like there to be um, I would like for people to at least postulate worlds where I am good and suggest other evil combinations uh, because at the moment I mean I if you're the spy then you know you have all the grimoire anyway right yep that is true um, well I've already made my information public what do you make of me seeing Kat as the investigator Ed as the Baron Adam as the imp if I got you correct uh, last night if we killed the imp, then there must be a Scarlet Woman in the game. Yep. Uh, and then there must be no poisoning. So maybe we should spread the word that there is no poisoner in the game. So we, unless you're the drunk, or whoever is the drunk, uh, somebody, everybody should trust their information. Yeah. So I've heard rumors that Hazel is the imp. Um, his best, the best thing that could have happened was he shoots day one and I shoot day two. You know, we're getting two Slayer shots out. If, and the, he he was he was very adamant to hold his slayer shot for quite a while, which makes me think that yeah, 
if he's going to hold it for like two or three days, one of us is going to die before that. And the fact that he he was he, he never wanted to basically he never wanted to pass me the power um, makes me extra sus of him. There, there's just so much that makes me so sus. Right, of but when did you die? I thought you died very early. I I died the very first uh, night. So in that case, he was never going to be able to give you that power unless I'm misunderstanding it. No, but but on day one. He was very clear that he was not going to be shooting for a few days. Right. Um, I uh, very much think that Jack is the spy. uh, This is where I humiliate myself in front of chat. Um, But just to play devil's advocate, because it's a role I've got more than I think any other role in the entire (laughs) Blood on the Clock Tower uh, character list. Uh, Just to play devil's advocate, Jack possibly thinks that as soon as he uses his Slayer power, he's going to be executed by town. And so, yeah. from that point of view, it does make sense for him to delay it. The, the, uh, the other thing is that he also went around, running around, telling everybody that he's confirmed good. Like, there's there's just so much that just screams spy to me from I Jack. Mean, and if he's mm-hmm. not the spy, then I, I will be shocked. I will be so damn shocked. So I'm not. I, 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 I'm. I'm uncertain about Jack. I'm pretty sure on Evie. And contrary to what 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 you've told me about it being a hard lift on Jack, I felt it was an incredibly hard lift on Evie yesterday, and it was then overridden I had hard lift by I think evil people. players voting over a good execution. Know that because you've not really confirmed that with any other players that the undertaker claim is a bit shaky right oh no i completely agree i that's why i pulled three people into a chat and I, um, outed okay. my information yeah i see where you're going with that jack it's then, fine. then you're checking two of the three other people i don't see where the book is going oh open <sighs> What a surprise I'll nominate Jack. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Patrick has nominated Jack. Pat, uh, I think we're, we're approaching some kind of world record at this point. Do you want to take us through it again? I, I made a promise that I will nominate him until he dies. Can he please die? <laughs> this is getting a bit tedious. Jack. <laughs> so, uh, Pat is unfortunately un- unable to be executed and stopped in this, but the, the, the consensus among... Me, Hazel, and Aggie is that I'm not a good kill. Well, excuse me, was there a consensus I wasn't aware of? <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is the thing, Jack keeps putting words in people's mouths. Keeps... Mickey, oh, Mickey, 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 Mickey says he trusts me implicitly. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Nicky, I swear to you. God, I swear oh to God, God, if Jack has been this fight this whole game and gets far faster on the final. I gone then. I will cry. Please execute. Look, look we can on the block. we can we can execute Evie, who I think majority of town thinks Evie is suspicious at this point. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna say I haven't heard any convincing argument. I don't care. I'm executing Jack. I do not. So, care. Jack did, would like did Evie to say what she saw? The who did we execute yesterday? Jay. 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 Did yeah. Evie say what she uh, saw Jay as? Evie and I had a chat and. Evie got my role correct. I haven't really spoken to a lot of people this game, and I definitely haven't claimed my role to anyone, my actual role to anyone this game. I would have yeah, preferred that happen that, publicly. That for, okay. for what it's not worth, the, yeah, I have, this chat. I, kn- knowing what Evie was, right, I just kind of want to like listen in on what she she got as well. Um, and Jay immediately shushed me away from there. So. Did you try and walk into another whisper, Jack, Nick? He did. <laughs> he did. Jack would like to nominate Evie. Okay, Jack, tell us why you think we should kill Evie. So, a lot of people yesterday said that they thought Evie was at least part of the evil team, and it lines up with being part of the Chef Pez next to the Recluse, otherwise we have to assume that three evils are sat in a row. So, this is probably a good execution based off Chef information. I'm also verified by Hazel the Empath getting four zeros on me, so not Dude. evil. Hmm. Hmm. Did Hazel the evil with you? Okay, Evie, your response, please. There's a potential evil pair between Hazel and Jack. Um, if that, if we're looking at chef pairs, um, 
I the conversation I had with Jay was I uh, asked him if he was in. Jay, do you want me to out your role? Should we? Uh, yeah, I, I please say, do. I, I saw it. Jay as the Raven Keeper, so I just asked him why he sacrificed himself for me. If that was his role, he did say that he was the Raven Keeper. Um, and we had a bit of a conversation around that. Looking at the way whispers have gone, the people that Jay have spoken to have not had any direct interactions with me. So um, I just hope that you guys will not dead vote this. Okay. Uh, we had three on Jack. You need four if you wish to execute Evie. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, if Adam is evil, there's a different. Mm. Hazel, come on. No. Chris, Duke, Chris, Duke, Deviant, Simon, do you know what? Come on. I mean, evil gang rise up. No, no. <laughs> okay, oh. two is not enough. Jack's still on the block. Hazel oh, nominates Chris. Okay, Hazel, tell us why you've nominated Chris. All right, empath. Thank you, Jack. I really did not want to be public this early. I was, okay. Zero on Jack and Aggie. Zero on Jack and Aggie. Zero on Jack and Jay. Zero on Jack and Jay. If Evie cold called Jay's role and Jay is vouching for Evie, then that means I have to believe in Evie, even though there's potentially a spy in play. Um, last night, one on Jack and Chris. Okay, Chris. I mean, does anyone believe Hazel at this stage? <laughs> she's sat next to I'm Jack, who she's saving... There's Chef, like, a hundred. Um, I think she's just protecting Jack at this stage. Um... Mm. My breakfast came in. It's, it's not so bad. <laughs> Good! Is it porridge or oatmeal? Okay. Um... <laughs> I think it's, it's, like, a little soft rice, so I think it's oatmeal. So, uh... We had three votes on Jack. If you wish to execute little soft rice, Chris, you need four. <laughs> we're on a tie at the moment, aren't we? What? No, we're not. <laughs> no, we've got three no, on Jack. Jack. Jack's on the block. Come on, come on. Come on. There we yeah. go. Come on. Oh, uh, we need four, don't oh. we? Oh. Chris can nominate himself. <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> so it's not enough. <laughs> Do we have any oh. other nominations? I would have voted myself to break a tie. Uh, Kill Jack, goddammit! Come, come on, somebody Wait, else. Is Chris no. that mysterious butler? Bring I, um, I would like. Yeah, ben, ben, I believe so. I, okay. Ben, ben yep. I would like to claim to be the Slayer. Yeah. And I am going to Slayer shoot. I don't even know. Um, Slayer shoot, Chris, please. Okay, you claim to be the Slayer, and you shoot Chris. There is no effect. Jack has been executed and dies! Everybody goes to Yay! sleep. Well, Nikki, you get my ability, finally. <laughs> no, please. Again. That's all right. Um, okay. Oh, oh, that, oh. There, was, there was so many. <clears throat> Why have I got the current game role? I don't know. Oh, I haven't. Weird. Move a bot's just too aggressive. Move a bot is Man. like, yeah. Honest. Uh, so, uh, if uh, so, Chris is dead, right? No, Jack's dead. Jack's dead. Uh, so oh, tomorrow is the final day. Oh man, this is uh, well. No, uh, Evie and Patrick are both still alive. Yeah, but one of them. So, die. yeah, no. Chad is saying that the game was over, but it's not because there's two good still alive. Yeah. So, there, this will be... Uh, no, because Scarlet Woman doesn't activate under five players. Tomorrow there'll be four players alive, Scarlet Woman is now inactive. Yeah. So it's okay. Uh, I will be very surprised if Good win this. I am very surprised. Yeah, Duke has managed to coast, Hazel and Chris look really sus, they've made Eevee look incredibly sus. Um, if Jack... I, the only thing that could have gone, like, worse for Good is if Jack had shot Duke there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking Chris will poison Eevee, uh, and yep. Duke will um, Duke will probably kill Patrick, and no one's going to believe Eevee when she tells everyone that Jack was in fact the spy, which is definitely what I'm going to show her. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do this. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, yeah, where are you, Chris? 
Chris, hello. Hello. Um, I think my only poison left is Evie at this stage. Evie it is. You mean Pat's not been a secret fortune teller the whole game? <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a thing, wouldn't it? What a play that would be, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Come cool. on, Chris. Thanks. Where do we Thanks. Go? Here we go. Hello, Duke. Duke. Ah, uh, whatever this one of these things I got for breakfast is not very good. Um, oh no! You want to be like you want to be like I am an American and I want bacon and <laughs> eggs for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> the sauce is sad too, but whatever. Um, I guess that's be Patrick, right? I mean, Chris I is like probably it. going to poison Evie. I could start pass, which would be interesting, but it sounds like people want to kill Hazel, so that ain't going to happen. At least make him make him have the choice and. Okay. Oh, we'll okay. see. All right, thank you, dude. All right. All right. See ya. Yep. See ya. Bye. Hi, Evie. I'm still not dead. No. You are still not dead. So, um, <laughs> you awake and learn that Jack was, in fact, the spy. Well, <laughs> oh, it's never good news when you show me a spy. <laughs> Yeah, good luck convincing everyone. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I mean, this is it's it's been good to see an evil stomp, I think. I love seeing evil stomp and yeah. it's it's something there's something really delightful about it. But like the evil team has played a really clever game here. They've set up a lot of suspicion, a lot of doubt. They've thrown a lot of shade and they've taken advantage of a lot of um, people use abuse a lot of betters to be honest. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. Use, they've, they've, they abused uh, Jack being evil, they've abused the concept that Duke might not be evil. Totally. You know, they've it's been great. One hundred percent. Like this has been a masterclass in allowing uh the good team to hang themselves with their own rope because they've Pretty not much, like yeah. they've not sown any seeds at all they've just watched they've sat back they've watched good players in fight and then just kind of poured petrol on the fire as, yeah <laughs> as hazel a... hazel coming out as washerwoman confirmed empath throw, starting to throw chris under the bus protecting jack like like, and then it it, it um, appeals to both worldviews because there's a worldview where Hazel's evil and there's a worldview where Hazel is good. The people who think Hazel is good feel vindicated. The people who think Hazel and Jack are evil together feel vindicated. You know, it works either way. It's great. I'm thinking Evie executed today. Uh, I reckon that's what's yeah. going to happen. Let's see how it I goes. I think down. so too. Uh, also, I just want to say, Chris uh, almost got a perfect poison every night, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, definitely. Ding. Welcome back, everybody. Pat died in the night. Four players left um, alive. Okay. Um, Apparently, that's that, that's two outsiders, claimed outsiders who have died in the night. Which we're I, in trouble. I agree. Evie, what that. did you see me as? I saw Jack as the spy. So if Jack really is the Slayer, then there's a so person evil. alive. Hmm. Then we have two people alive. <laughs> so Chris needs to die. So effectively, yeah, we, die. So we have two pairs of people. We're screwed currently. Mm -hmm. So Duke is claiming to back Hazel. Mm -hmm. So, and I've he's done nothing for me to distrust him with that. Realistically, he told me he's a top four on day one. So technically, the audio is also uh, t potentially double. Uh, te I did double claim an investigator, and I did double claim a fortune teller too. Technically, that's, that's correct. That is correct. So, yeah. uh, okay. So I know I've been pushing hard against Hazel. Uh, the reason why I've been pushing hard against her is to keep her alive because I knew about Duke's information a couple of days ago. Uh, but the issue now is that uh, everybody who is alive, other than Duke has had a fortune teller no on them. What's Duke's information? What about Hazel's Scarlet Woman? Maybe? Scarlet Woman. Scarlet uh, Woman. Uh, one of Hazel or Chris yeah. was the yeah. empath. There has um, been some form of star pass. Yeah. I'm going to announce that there, that's a double claim on fortune teller. Oh. This what? is not I my never said fortune teller. Oh, I thought you were claiming to be fortune teller. Nope. 
No, no, no he, he just said that when, when he told me that he's a top four, he also said he, he's the fortune teller, who, which was a double claim. Yes. Uh, I mean, the information my, the was basically that, correct, because I'm the fortune teller. I checked TV and Chris on night one, and I got a no, and then I checked Hazel and Jack, and I got a no, and then I died. So, Nick is technically correct. Mm -hmm. uh, That's why the information was bothering me when Deviant came out as a chef, too, because, like, the living players were all no's. Uh, well, they Hazel were demon nose. They still could be minions who got the star Deviant pass. died at night. Hazel, so what's yeah. your input today? Two. Hmm. 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 How's that? Well, that's yeah. Why is why is so, Duke not under suspicion? <laughs> okay, so I want to say he that he is uh, as a potential spy. Can... Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the point is that we, we all, I, I can confirm Hazel, right? Um, our conversation went pretty good, day one. And then she is now saying that there are two evils next to her when we, at the beginning of today, said we think that there are two evils alive. Am I mistaken in, in people using those words? There are three evils alive. Yeah, I think today should be the final day. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All really? Right. I don't feel massively comfortable sleeping so, tonight. Hazel and Damn. I are in conflict, then. That's what it sounds like. <clears throat> yeah. And and you or I are in, are in conflict, TV. So, hmm. I'm going to open the floor to nominations. Dispute being so, in, in my mind, just to say, like, the way I see it now, Evie, I, I feel evilly, e Evie is evil. Um, Duke and Hazel back each other up. Hazel sort of makes sense to me. I, I feel Chris therefore has to be the demon, but I don't really have a clue. So okay. that's, that's my hunch. So look at the night, yes, right? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Before we do anything else, just because we're taking this to the final day, and we do a, a quick uh, whip round everybody's claims. Sure. Do you want me to MC this for you? Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, from the top, Simon. Uh, I am the recluse. EB. I am the undertaker. I've already given out my information, but for the benefit of everybody, I saw Kat as the investigator, Ed as the Baron, Adam as the Imp, Jay as the Ravenkeeper, and Jack as the Spy. From my worldview, I'm either drunk or <coughs> there's a poisoner alive. Okay, Nikki. Uh, I was hoping that when you said that you would control this, that you'd also give the roles as well, but I guess not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I am the pixie who was told Slayer. Adam. That makes me so happy. Adam? Ooh, that's, oh, he's too busy like calling me evil. <laughs> okay, I think he said mayor. Uh, he Patrick. Did. Saint. Ed. Virgin. <laughs> I like that one as well. Virgin. Virgin. Uh, Jack. Let us move on. Slayer. Hazel. Empath. Aggie. Fortune teller with nose on Chris, Evie, Hazel, and Jack. Jay. Ravenkeeper who never claimed Ravenkeeper to anyone. Okay, cat. Uh, investigator, Baron Pings on Adam and Jack. Chris. <coughs> with Butler Pings on myself. <laughs> okay, Duke. Oh, sorry. Um, Washerman who saw Hazel and Chris as empath. And Deviant. And I told this to you, I think... I think I told that full bit to Pat day two or three. Correct. Deviant. A chef with a two. Okay, so that's everyone claimed. Do we have any nominations? Can we um, propose some evil teams? Um... Yeah, do, do, do you want to start with yours, Evie? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've got three evils dead, Evie. <laughs> um, if I'm evil, there's nobody here that's going to back me. And, no, and there'll be no dead votes to save me. So if we believe that Chris and Evie are evil, one of them could have been the Poisoner, and Aggie would have been a good target for, for either of them. Oh, I think Chris, Duke, and Evie are all evil. How about the Poisoning? So the investigator who saw a Baron between <clears throat> um, somebody who the Undertaker saw as the Imp and somebody who's the Undertaker saw as a spy. I mean, there's something off there, so... Yeah, yep. I Chris poisoned, me. Chris poisoned me night one. 
first call for nominations. Possible. So that means that one denied this should have been a star pass unless yeah. Evie is a Scarlet Woman, right? If Jack is a spy, Ben made him register as good every single night to the empath. Until until last night and the night before. Second call for nominations. Uh, also, if I'm the spy, that's putting two oh. minions in an investigator's claim, which is evil. Right. Ben would you know what? Do Hazel that. nominates Chris. Okay, Hazel. You've <laughs> kind of already gone over this, but if you want to summarize why you've nominated Chris. Um, I'm going to choose Chris over Evie because I believe one of the three minions is a poisoner. Um, it's entirely possible that this is also a spy game and I've just been regularly poisoned. Um, but spy game and I've been left alive. Evie cold calling Jay. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, we don't have to do this. We can go to sleep guys, but yeah. If you guys want to kill an evil player today, my money's on Chris being an evil player. Okay, Chris. Yeah, I think... It, so my worldview is I think the evil four... The, sorry, the chef pairs... The chef two, I think, is Hazel, Jack, and Ed at this stage, who I think are all looking quite sus in this game. Um, I am good. I'm just your humble butler. Um, we know the Baron added two outsiders. I'm one of those. I don't think we have a drunk in the game. Um... Mm. Not much else I can say. I would just say how suspicious Hazel is and the fact that she's making up empath info on me and is now nominating me. Um, hopefully, you'll all see that I'm good. Okay. Just two votes required. Here we go. Some food for thought. Chris never claimed an outsider in day one chats with me if at all. If two people spend their ghost votes, I will put my hand up. Right. I'm keeping mine on Chris. All right. Oh God! Mm. Well, that's okay. more than the that's more than the evil team can beat, right? Four votes on Chris. They can, they can, they can tie it. Yeah. Four I is mean, enough. Do we have any other nominations? Chris is claiming he can evil team rise up now. No, because we have five, right? And there are four evils. No, four. no, we have four. Oh, votes. Do we have four? Sorry. Yeah. I'll nominate Duke. Okay, Chris, tell us why you've chosen Duke. Uh, he's backing up Hazel, and Hazel is very evil. Okay, Duke. I think we're all kind of ignoring the world where Hazel can just be the spy uh, <gasps> and is now star pass to you. Um, this is not a mutual vouch. I'm just saying that, Chris, between you and Hazel, I've seen her. Well, she's claimed to be the empath, and that is what I saw. Um, so, How did your I haven't really talked to Hazel a whole lot. I have to explain this again. Uh, so, hopped in, right? And then wanted to exchange twos. And then I asked for her to go first. And she gave me Empath or Monk, I think, or whatever the other one was. Um, and then okay. I said, I am either the Washerman or the Investigator. If I am the Washerman, I've seen you as blank. And if I'm the investigator, I have not seen you as blank. And then she no. said empath. I was like, yeah, you're the empath. So that's how it went. No, the Duke is the spy. I am 100% certain now Duke is the spy because he cold called my role without any of all that stuff you just described. And I told as much to Aggie Jack. Sorry. Okay, mm. evil pair right there, Chris and Duke. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Here goes the vote. We have so four. I'm just going to say. I'm Chris. Yeah. Evie is trying to persuade me against voting for Chris um, based so, on evil, very, evil very teams. spurious grounds. I, I feel like so, we're, we're doing oh right. God, is, 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 evil team is also not voting on this, which is, yeah. yeah. That's, so that's I, true. But I in think my that, defense, hmm. I can't vote on this because you're my master, Pat, and you voted on me. <laughs> Interesting. Thing. Okay, I do would, we have any other nominations? Evie. I, I, I genuinely believe that either. that's a bluff. If I genuinely people... believe this is the right execution. Right. Nominations if... only now, please, guys. If people Sorry. believe um... that this is the demon, if Town is united, then I will not nominate. Otherwise, I will nominate myself to tie this. And then we go. I, mean, I, I thought it was either Evie or Hazel the whole time. One of them was. One of them is the spy, in my mind, who has been star passed to. Bring in the date to a cruise then. Three. I think it's Hazel. Two. I'll we'll find out shortly. Duke nominates Evie for death. Okay, Duke. Tell us why you've chosen Evie. 
Um, yep. Uh, so my worldview is that Evie is had fishy information the whole time. At least Hazel, if she's evil, is like not doing a whole lot. Evie's like, like gotten one role correctly, I think. And if mm, maybe this was a bad bad nom going by that. For me, it's one of them. I chose Hazel or uh, Evie. Okay, Evie, your response. Um, that sounds quite weak. Um, it now sounds like we might have the right track here. Don't let Chris win bl already blagging as the butler. You already did as a shame. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've got four on Chris. Five required for EB. Here we go. Is this going to be Evil Gang rising up? Evil Gang rise up. <laughs> Everybody lowers their hands. Great. <laughs> no. No. Okay, Chris is not a oh. demon. If, if Chris I can't was get demon, the back to back. Are you serious? Okay. Oh. okay. Going to call it there. Evie nominates oh. Hazel. Okay. Evie is nominated Hazel. Go on then, Evie. Uh, this is the last nomination that we can have today. Enough people think that Hazel is suspicious, so I'm happy to throw my lot in on this nomination, to be perfectly honest. Hazel and I are in conflict. Um, I do believe that she is evil. Okay, Hazel. <laughs> Hazel muted. Alright, no response from Hazel. Uh, in the interest of moving things forward, I think... I did not know! I'm so sorry. I was talking all time. All, all right. right. Guarantee oh, no. you will win if you execute me. Go for it. All right. You know the drill. Five required. Mm. I would like to tie this. I think we only have two evils alive. Oh, you want me to vote to tie? No. 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 Chris is guaranteed executed. Chris is executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh. That's not it. So, um, somebody in chat said, why are you dragging this out? Uh, the answer to that question is that you it's good practice to do this because it is possible that there is a monk or a soldier still in the game and if you don't do this at least sometimes people are going to meta the fact that there's never a, a monk or soldier in the game at certain points in the game uh, so what well, we know what's going to happen here all right we're just going to go straight to duke i think <laughs> Uh, yeah. Duke, who uh, wanna kill? Flip a coin, I either kill myself or I kill Eevee. I don't care which one. Let chat decide. Okay. Go on then, chat. First person to first person to type it, that's who's dying. It doesn't matter really. Alright, it's, it's all the it's same. Eevee. It's Eevee, we got Eevee. Several people said Duke. <laughs> we got an Eevee in there just <laughs> before Duke. Okay, Eevee it is. I, Thank I, I feel like I, I should kill myself so that people like Aren't like, wow, he just lives to the end no matter what. We gotta kill him sooner. Oh, Alright, cheers, dude. There it goes. Oops, I did the wrong move here. Oh no, I didn't. There we go. Welcome back, everybody. Eevee died in the night. And the <laughs> game is, of course, over. And I can confirm that the evil team has won. Congratulations, Dude. evils. Good job. <laughs> Don't all play and react at once. Well played, evil team. <laughs> well played, evil team. It really was well played, evil team as well. Um, so uh -huh. I'm going to do your. Um, we'll, we'll do your roll call. So Cat uh, was the investigator. Cat was not the drunk. Cat uh, was the investigator who was poisoned on night one by Chris the poisoner. Called it. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, you got it. <laughs> Which is why instead of seeing Ed and somebody as the Baron. She got Adam or Jack as the Baron. Neither of them were the Baron. Uh, we had Jay the Ravenkeeper, who advocated for their own execution so that Evie the Undertaker could confirm them. Evie was the Undertaker for the whole game. Evie got legit information three times and 
got screwed up information, sorry, legit info four times, oh poisoned info twice, but was poisoned three times. The night when Evie saw Jay as the Raven Keeper, <laughs> Evie was poisoned, but we decided to show her the truth. Anyway, the other legit no, info... I, I think I poisoned Jack then, mate. Oh, you may well have done, actually, yeah. Either way, um, Evie, uh, Evie saw Ed as the Baron, Cat as the Investigator, um... Someone oh, was the imp? <laughs> no, Adam, Adam was not the imp. Adam was. I, re I was really hoping Amy would still be here because my brain is melting out of my ears. Uh, <laughs> but um, the Adam was not the imp. Adam was in fact the mayor, and Jack was not the spy. Jack was in fact the slayer, who was the slayer that Nikki the pixie knew was in the game. Unfortunately for Jack, unfortunately for Nikki, Nikki was absolutely convinced that Jack was not the slayer. Uh, and the night, the, the day that Jack actually shot, he was poisoned by the poisoner. Because you <laughs> can't be an open slayer with like seven people left alive in a poisoner game, Jack. <laughs> well, it was Nikki who answered me. Nikki, do you have anything to say? To the good slayer, who you know is good. Your entire ability is you know I'm good. Why am I evil? Not <laughs> in the day I told you to shoot, I wouldn't have been so suspicious. <laughs> it's like a sitcom. It's like a really shit sitcom, this is. The, the, the longer you took to shoot, the longer I was like, yeah, Jack's evil, Jack's so, evil. Patrick was the saint. Patrick was the saint who, on the one day that he was nominated, was actually poisoned, so we were really hoping that you'd execute him. Uh, <laughs> Ed was of course the Baron uh, Ed was the Baron who claimed Virgin and I think pretty much uh, had had a sufficient number of people uh, believing that Hazel was the Scarlet Woman whose imp Duke claimed he was the Washwoman and had seen her as the Empath well done guys, great play uh, Aggie the Fortune Teller who picked three minions and, and some guy <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and this guy. Are you referring to me as some guy? <laughs> yeah, some guy. Uh, and I think. Uh, oh, of course, Deviant, Deviant was the drunk who believed they were the oh, chef. Yeah. Uh, so we showed them a two instead of a one. It, it was actually Chris and Duke. And I believe that's everyone. Well played, oh, Deviant. Nice. Yeah. We just random. So you started poisoning me, Chris, after I, I oh Yeah, you hard claimed Van Sega to me. I was like, okay, thanks. I would <laughs> highly... Publicly claim Scarlet Woman, sorry, by the I way. Would you like guys to let that highly fly. Recommend, <laughs> guys, I would like to highly recommend that you go on our Twitch channel, look at the most recent Twitch clips, and just witness a series of clips which kind of chronicle Nikki's journey. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 that game, which, which begins with a day one conversation where he claims to be the Slayer to the Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I was right about Hazel, though. I was right about Hazel. She was trying no, to no actually, I never told a soul. Oh. You're the only person I told! But you, you told me! And I was right to be sus of you for doing that, and then I swung around again. But it wasn't. No, I. What? <sighs> well, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for joining us for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have fun. Uh, playing with the pixie in your own games and in other games. Don't forget, there is a. Um, a script contest to create us a cool fun script with a pixie in it and the winner will be played on this very show next Thursday uh, once again here is a link to the unofficial discord there is a channel in there script competitions where you can post your scripts please do tag Ed and or me well preferably both of us in your in your submissions and please do provide us with both either a PDF or a, well a, preferably a PDF and the JSON file uh, come along tomorrow evening, Friday night, uh, an hour later than this stream starts. We're going to play some D&D. It's crazy. We love it. Uh, we are back with the US stream on Sunday. And finally, tune in on Tuesday evening. No, God, I'm so bad at this. Uh, 
Wednesday. Wednesday is the Aussie stream, but check the schedule. Check the schedule. Uh, and those guys are playing some tight nine-player games from now on, so it's a great opportunity to sort of get in there and, and see some of the smaller games being played. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We will see you all tomorrow evening, hopefully. And do stick around, because we're going to find someone cool and fun to raid. Take it easy, dudes.